What's good with it in the hood with it? We're live. Live and direct. At a theater near you. Let's get it, man. Let's see who pops in here. Um, let's see how it goes. Live. Hey, make sure you guys hit that like on your way in and out. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. I'm a little tired today. Um, what's up, B? You're the first one. How you doing? Hey, Uso J, what's up, brother? 702 Man Cave. Pedro Rojo is in the house. What's crackalacking? Hey, Mark. There he is. What's up, Mark Carrington? Mallard the Duck. What's up? What's up, Howard the Duck? Philip Rover says, what up, Gunner? How you been? Angel Kubel, Fran and Bear. Hey, I hope you're doing uh, better, Fran and Bear. How you doing? Uribe Familia, Kubel. Eastside Player said, did you see Adam 16 and three-quarter shot? Oh, way in and out and out and in. Adam 16, where to begin? In the throat. In the throat. He's the throat goat. <laughs> What's up, PGH? I see you, Deb. How you doing? Alan McCoy. Mr. KC562 is in the motherfucking pad. Uh, Bada Bing. Fran and Barry. Bada Bing says, hey, Gunner, heading to the Bike Casino for Poker Tournament. Just checking in and advancing. Hey, man, I hope you win. Good luck, man. Uh, you know, the casino ain't my thing no more, man. I've been there, done that. They got all my money. Raja says, sub gun from Hawaii. The Filipinos checking in, man. Shout out to the, the Panois. Uh, B says me too tired as fuck spent 14 hours on a pole laughing my ass off girl I ain't shit I ain't mad at you I'm tired and Sue said what up player my probate my probation is finally over I can drop a nota hey what's up though hey Sue you're here you made it home to the probationary period that's right let's get you on the linea now this is the main line my boy freestyling lol 318 boss city port city in the house shout out to the Louisiana I'm Louisiana Animal, man, 318. Seeing that shit, Adam 15 coming out. He said, fuck it. If I'm going to come, I'm going to come. For reals, no daddy. Uh, Tony, hey, what's up, brother? Good afternoon. Hey, it was good. You read about tired, bro? Tired, man. Did a lot of work today. David says, what's good with it? In the hood with it. Hey, there he is, my boy Carlos. What's up, Carlitos? I can't write on your chat yet because i only been subbed for a little bit, but what's good, my brother? Much love, homie. I see you, Carlos. Hey, gracias, canal. You know you didn't have to, but thank you, bro. Um, thank you, brother. Shit, I'm just just chilling, bro. You see, I'm tired as a motherfucker. I'm in slow motion right now. Ezekiel says, any stories of Super Primo getting jumped by enemies? Mm. We got 70 in the building with 32 likes. You guys hit a one if you guys want me to drop another Super Norteño one tomorrow by my Primo. I got a thumbnail made already. It's a good one, too. Vop the Local Boys 20 Extra and Ezekiel. I got story after story. I got stories giving stories, piggyback rides. You know how I do it. Ace, Mark Pereira, what's happening? Olympia, Olympia, Washington in the motherfucking pad. Uh, Two-Way Dave says, what's up, G? Funny video today about Super Norte Primo. Looking forward to part three tomorrow. I'll see a whole bunch of ones, so I got you. Hey, thank you, 709 High Life. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much, man. Johnny Tafoya, what's up? My prayers are with you as always, brother. How you doing? How are you doing, though, personally? Uh, trust but verify. Fifth child says, do a bum ski. Uso, David Aguirre, Vato Loco Boy. Nah, I do a bum ski. I'll be over here fucking just tripping, bro. You know what I mean? I'm cool. Efren. Hey, Frank Lopez. How you doing? What's up? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Arnold says, what's up, Gunner? You're my idol, though. Stay with it. Thanks. Nah, I ain't nobody's idol, but you know what I am? I'm a grown-ass, tired-ass man. Do you got any torta stories with him? <laughs> bro, let's just say... For as ugly and fat as his old lady was, she had a badass sister. We're going to get to all them stories, man. Don't trip. You guys should have never woke up the dragon. Davata's like, get it, get it. Am I you know, Do I get some of the money? I said, shit, bro, I ain't making no money off you. Juan Garcia, saludos, gunner from the 209 area. Sergio Martinez says, what's good, gunner? Big area from Sacra. What's the, where's the torta? Is that homeboy? Oh, shit. If you only knew. TG Fun says, what's up, gunner? Flint Town in the motherfucking pad. Shout out to Flint, Michigan. Man, gunner, tweaker, uh. Man, a gunner, man, a man gun, a tweaker at my job, been shitting outside the highlight, tripping. And about those shit right there on the fucking concrete, straight up on the sidewalk and keep it pushing. What's up from Richmond, Texas? KRPZ is in the house. Louisiana Animal said, My boy need a wiggle with Michelle. Uh, she on that summer sausage being fat. Sounds good. Hey, if you guys seen how she looked, sounds good. Oh, wait. Yes, my boy Slayer's in the house. Oh, Don B says, Tortas for days. Eh. 
I know, I know some something, something. I've been looking for a new show to watch. Any ideas? What's good? I don't know what's cracking right now, bro. I'm still on my Walking Dead shit. Dan Wootski, what's up, big brother? How you doing? Mm. What's up, bro? At the holiday? Is it going good or what? My boy Dan Wootski is getting the Harley Davidson money. Alex Nunez has been through so some serious shit the last year, and you have honestly helped me through it. To what extent? Only knowledge you can get in college. Gracias for keeping the fire in me lit this last year. Hey, gracias, brother. Um, I'm glad that I could help you. Drek Loco is in the house. He said, guard, give Super Norteño the Oscar. That about the got it, huh? Gunsmoke says, backhanded like that. Bat backhanded that button on the way in. Sup with a gun rocking in that blue for autism awareness. But you see it? You recognize that? That's right, brother. Hey, that's exactly why I'm rocking it, bro. Clean hat. Thank you, Frank Lopez. A little something, something different. You know, I got to come through like I come through smoke dogs. A shout out from the Chicano Picasso, homie. Pipasso. They call him Pipasso. Uh, David and Gary says, when are you going to do another cooking video, homeboy? We're going to go cooking live tomorrow night. David, in fact, we're going to make chile verde tacos. Are you ready for the homegirl B? She requested it. It's going to pop, man. Um, be like the Puerto Rican dude on Cops. Stop calling me papi. I'm not your papi, okay, papi? Okay, papi. I, I don't want I don't want to call you papi, papi. <laughs> that fool was all fucking coked out on. Hey, let's get an interview with your cousin, maybe over the phone if he doesn't want to be on video. Uh, trust but verified, most definitely, man. I'm trying to hey, I'm trying to butter him up. Oh, 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 because you're just trying to make me look bad, eh? You're just trying to make me look bad for monetary gain. I said, What you learned a new word? Monetary? How you learned that one? I, I can't spell it yet, but I know it, right? Um, I got you. Augustine says, what's up, Gunner? Glad I caught the live. Slayer, hey, gracias, brother. I'm glad you did. Slayer says, respects from Dago. Big San Diego in the motherfucking pad. Juan Garcia says, Gun, you ever have to work where you had beef with someone from the past? Absolutely. I can tell you guys a little story once we get up to uh, 100 likes. Fran and Bear says, when Southland, watch Southland. That's a fire ass show. Hey, Mark Carrington for that Zero Sugar Mountain Dew. I appreciate you, bro. I'm almost down, too. I needed another caja. Gracias, brother. We're doing the Mountain Dew, Zero Mountain Dew Fund. Mm. Kane Velasquez facing a murder charge. What? Who died? Did the Vato die or what? From complications? Ezekiel Rivera says, in your cousin's town, do you see the big ball of tumbleweeds going across the lonely street? Even tumbleweeds don't aren't there. There's nothing there, bro. Like, hey, it's he has like a fucking creek running in his backyard, or it's like a, a canal that if you drop a hot dog in that motherfucker, about six crawdads are just take me, please get me the fuck out of here. I mean, it's just that bad. Alan McCoy said, what's the ingredients so we can cook along? You guys want the ingredients? You got to get tomatillos. You got to get jalapenos and serranos. You got to get cilantro. You got to get limes. You got to get uh, caldo de pollo. Um, and then, of course, the carne, which is some pork. And then from there, I'm going to show you guys how to whip it all up. Uh, Louisiana Animals says, I know them shoes fresh. Let me pee with your shoe game on. Oh, you see? Oh, yeah, I got a few shoes in the back. I got a few little thank thanks. I'm working with a few. My boy Anthony O is tapped in the building, man. What's up, Ant? Uh, the Funk Lover said, what's up? Best Sip Banks has been talking a lot, Holmes. He said that you're... All right, that's cool. Tell him, fuck it, then I am the devil. Uh, Robert Yeager says, good to see you on here live more. Hey, thank you, Robert. I appreciate you. Drek Local says, haven't been on the live in months because of work, but I'm glad I made it. Love from Los Angeles, bro. Hey, shout out respects, man, to Los. Steve Easy says, what's good? Shout out from the NC. I see you, bro. Clover, you todo. Shark City, what's happening, canal? What's good, bro? Hey, you've been having the blues lately, huh? You feel me? Hey, bro. Autism awareness, bro. You know, I got a, a niece. So, you know, I got to represent. B says, tap that like button like you mad at it. So we can get back at it. Oscar Perez, Texas. Nicholas Brown says, hell yeah, brother. I asked about dumb, dumb Chris Watts. And you did a follow-up video. Hell yeah. Thanks, my man. My favorite channel. Absolutely, man. I try to give you guys what you want. I got what you want. I got what you need. If you ask, you shall receive, man. If you do it respectfully, um, I don't forget nothing that I see. Race is what up? Gun, gun. Don Wooski said making chicken mole at the moment. Shit, bro. Hey, that sounds bomb right now. 709 High Life says, I didn't get a chance to watch the video about the cousin. Gonna have to tap in after the live. You will not be disappointed. Hey, let hey, let the whole homeboy 709 High Life know that that one right there is, hey, when I laugh at my own shit, I had to actually go back and watch it. I said, what the fuck? Why did I say that shit, right? You guys haven't even seen nothing yet. I started to elaborate just that much on my tia. It's going to get deeper. If you want the Karnam sending mines, cue ball, what's up? Minister of Darkness says, Taco Tuesday, Gunner, indubitably. L. Tony says, what's your favorite book? Sidney Sheldon, Master of the Game. 
Uh, official little tone. Sub Brody. Alan McCoy says, can you use beef? Uh, I don't eat pork. Yeah, you can use beef if you want. A um, little bit of a different texture flavor. But yeah, I, you, you know what? I would recommend chicken even better than beef just because the texture of beef you have to cook longer. But it's totally up to you, brother. About the local boys, I owe you one. Hey, homeboy, that shirt you did about Puff and Usher was some funny shit. Hey, some Vato said, why are you, why are you lying? That ain't P. Diddy. Vato, you couldn't tell that wasn't P. Diddy? Let's give us the same motive behind it. So, you know, B says, do you roast chiles first? Absolutely, B. We're going to get to all that, girl. Trev, what's happening? Sharon says, tell me why I got this new job with the county thinking it was something and it's minimum wage with no benefits. Hey, they be bamboozling you with, hey, you want to work for the county? Yeah. Okay. You're making $14 an hour picking up trash on the side of the road, huh? You're like, what the fuck? You got them Jordan 13s on though, West it? Ooh, wait. Hey, what's up, Nick? Now you're right on time, brother. When Nick comes in, that's when we start. Dave Gibson says, collective clips makes me happier than Gunner jumping off a diving board into a swimming pool full of tortas. Hey, you never seen that short of me doing that? <laughs> Go on the other channel and trip out on it. Talk about Los Angeles gangs. Oscar Perez, I don't want to talk about no gangs, to be to be totally honest with you, bro. Um, I could tell you my stories and interactions, but literally like just talking about gangs, I'd rather not, bro, to be honest with you. But uh, I did wiggle on Vegas a few times, so we can talk about it. Antonio Peralta is in the house. Uribe Familia says, I need coffee, brother. I need coffee right now. That's what I'm trying to drink a Mountain Dew to wake up. Mickey Matas is crips some bloods and all the North Eight thugs. Mr. Garcia says, your video about your tia and primo had me dying, homie. Was the shit funny or what? El Rocket says, you heard of the human animal? Um, I've, I, I've heard of that book. I've seen it on the movie Shot Caller. Never read it. Never came across it in my time incarcerated. So I don't know if it's actually a real book, but I heard it was. Guard, show us the fit, gun, gun. Oh, it ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know, the baby blue with the motherfucking hat. And I got the baby blue, uh, the North Carolina ones over there that I slid on just to get on. And then I did my thing. With homemade flour tortillas, even better. Show, looking all pitudo. <laughs> Edwin B, what's happening with it? Uh, I'm a hardcore Wisconsin Norteño. Um, that's right, Ask a Bum. Oh, my boy Ask a Bum doesn't even have to pay to get in here to talk to his talky shit. My boy Ask a Bum's in here like, what's happening? J.D. Ryder says, Gun Gun saw the whole video of Bulldog's Melee. Pretty treacherous. Hard to tell who's punching or straight stabbing. And that's how it is, bro. That's all set up. The rhythm is set up for a reason. You know what I mean? Hey, that's right, Trev. That's right, brother. You seen tip. Shout out to my boy Trev. Thank you so much, man. Uh, what do you think about Ryan Garcia exposing the industry? Um, I think personally, I'm going to say it's a great thing. Fuck him. Right. But, you know, having known Ryan and, and his family, I will say that uh, I think he's just doing it for. Um, for more views, you know, as far as the fight goes, good hotel to stay in in Reno. Um, I don't know off the top, man. Does anybody know a good hotel to stay in in Reno? Wayne Sweeney is in the house. What's happening, my brother? You got your cup of coffee, brother? <laughs> I see you. Hey, Wayne Sweeney, I've been looking at your uh, messages you've been dropping, brother. Good shit. Thank you, man. I appreciate the, the follow, bro. Ilkas says, which shoe release are you looking forward to? Um, Right now, bro, I'm really, I'm really not into the shoe game like that. Ilkat, I have a couple of spots I go to and to connect with a direct line to some bomb shoes. They go get them and stand in line and do all that. Um, I got tired of getting uh, catching L's, you know what I mean? So now I just go to them, pay a little bit, a little bit of a markup um, when I want shoes. But I haven't bought shoes in a minute. Mijo, I'm going to watch La Reina del Sur. Sur. That's what my, my cousin was like. Sur. Great Scots. We don't say that in this house. My tia was like, shut the fuck up. Okay, Reina del Norte. Put off. That was such a good show. Then why isn't it on Netflix? Right? She was crazy. Hey, they would argue back and forth. He'd be arguing with his mom. He'd be like, mom, he'd be looking through a recipe book. Do you have like any fucking uh, uh, like tamales that were made in the Norte? She was like, no, but I, ching I got a chingazo in the Norte. Do you want one? Love the content, brother Wayne Sweeney. El Rocket says, I have a collection sent to you. That's right. 709 Highlight upgraded membership to bangers. I'm about to say, let's go up. Let's go up. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate you, 709 Highlight. B says, Mountain Dew is how I stole Gunsmoke's heart. We met on a job. He said, I walked by. There was something about me. You walked by, girl, looking like a good, nice, tall, icy glass of Mountain Dew. He said, I'm a dude to do. And that was it. It was on. The fun lover says, I said, you have me dying, though. I said, when you were roasting my manager, you funny as fuck. 
Mob life says it's a bird, it's a plane, it's that voice. Super Nathaniel Man, he's factored in the speed in bullet. You got to throw the homie hill bullet. Jason R says S it Gunner got the pedal to the metal. Respect us if in the 760, or should I say, and super Nathaniel. Hey, let me tell you, because you guys know me. I always say, um, like S it, that's just that's just me. I've always did that. I never switched over to the N. Um, that happened about 97 when they started to say that. I never did that, or maybe even pre like 96. And I never started to say that. It just never, I was just, I'm old school like that. And I stuck with my roots, right? And man, when I said that around them, I'm th 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 I don't know about you, hey? I've always thought ever since you were down south, you switched on and under. Are you fucking under? Lift your shirt up. I'm not wearing a wire, not a wire, but I know that, bro. I'm just saying, if I see any X3s, I'm flighting immediately. <laughs> Mud hooligan. And then I have a cousin who's a straight up south sider, right? That's our cousin. Like, we're all cousins, all three of us, right? And um, he's from A-Town. He's an upstater. And he'll go to my tia's house. He'll be like, nope, nope, take those blue chucks off. You're not allowed to wear shoes in my house. My cousin says, you don't even got fucking carpet, bro. Your carpet is burnt. There's a hole in the middle of your fucking, your, my tia lays on the couch watching novellas, just ashing her fucking cigarette through the floor. It's all bad. Daddy daughter is golf, man. Grant Sierra Resort in Reno. There you go, Ezekiel. What's up? Love. SVSD, man. Love from 619, San Diego. We got 91 likes in the building, man, with only 157 people. I appreciate that. Gunsmoke says, and in that fashion. What does yak influence mean? Because the yak life got me like this. Um, Antioch. Antioch, man, it just means he's influenced by his city. You know, Antioch is located in the Bay. It's kind of like around the corner from Concord, Vallejo. And, uh, you know, the city back in the days when Woody was out there and everybody was doing their thing, it was very well known. Motherfuckers was out there really game banged out. Nowadays, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and put a, a, a glitch in their spoke or, or, you know, a stick in their spoke and say it's not still doing what it's doing. But now it's like I, last time I was out there, I seen a gang of high motherfuckers. They were all spun out. Spooky Richie said, what up from Los Angeles, California? You read me or should I say in Esau player says, I'm moving to Bakersfield. But I'm going to go give me a nice highlight with the county picking up trash on the side of the road in Bakers. I said, do people ever give you dirty looks all the time? Guess what I do? Nada. Because looks can't kill me. But if they start to fucking reach for something, well, then I reach for something. KRPZ says, guard, the content has always been entertaining. You're just perfecting your craft. Gun, gun, keep up the good work. Thank you, KRPZ. I'm glad that people are noticing it. I'm in my comfort zone right now, I think. Never too comfortable. You can never get too comfortable in life. But I'm in my zone trying to make 150 bucks. Yeah, what's up, Gun? Much love and respect your way, Josh Terry. Hey, welcome to the live, brother. Justin Narciss, you were out here in 760. I got you some real tacos. That's just some of the best ceviche guaranteed and the best tamales. You fuck with buches? Hey, you, shit, you know I do, bro. Ask a bum says, you from Oakland? Nah, I'm from Merced, bro. The Central Valley, San Joaquin Central Valley. But uh, I would go down in Oakland a gang of times, bro, in the dirty 30s. You know, Fruitvale area, all that, bro. Um, Jingle Town. Got a lot of homeboys from out there, man. Did you see the Cholo Trucker is fighting again? I did, Mr. Garcia. I did, man. Shout out to him and Buzz. Um, I hope they have a great fight. I hope they both stay safe. And uh, they're doing big things, man. Uh, facing 25 to life in the ride. You asked me why I do this, and I respond with a mind. Have gone for the fact that I'm Yaki influenced. R.I.P. Woody. Yes. Facts, man. Uh, I got something coming up on Woody in the next couple of days. 709 High Life. It might be tomorrow. You know, one never knows, does one. Gilly G, the question is when isn't the content good? Guns, you're good at what you do. Thank you, Gilly. I appreciate you. You're good too. Swerve and curb and sipping off some of that cherry flavored bourbon. My boy Gilly G is a smooth criminal when it comes to his Uber. He's the Uber sensation. My boy Gilly G, if you're ever in his area, you need a ride, call him. You could call on Gillon and he got you. Dia Choa says, Does the Super Northenia know about that one story when you grab that one uh, suit 13? He does. But that was my primo, the one that I'm saying can't wear the blue Cortez is in his house. That was his sweater. So we're all interconnected. Jill Conley says, "You have you seen the film Sin Nombre? I have. Jill Conley, I have. Just recently, in fact. What's good? Scott Lopez, I see. Trev says, gun, you got to do stand-up, bro. Hey, Richard Torres, keep up the grind, brother. Hey, gracias. Richie Torres, I appreciate you, man. Um, You know what, Trev? I've been thinking about it. You know, I've been thinking about it. I've been saying that for a long time, but now I think I'm in my zone. I really... The way I ad lib and I do it, you know, and I can take these true stories, things that actually happen and flip them my way. Um, I think I'm ready. I grew up in Winthorn, California, down the road from Beachwood. You know what it is. I've been there, done that, left in 93 for Arkansas, but I always remember home. Much love, brother. Rick Williams. 
You left for Arkansas, Rick Williams, huh? Oh, you grew up in, okay, you grew up in when? I was going to say, you know, Ryan Wood, he went out there to Arkansas too. Um, Respects, bro. You know, I grew up in Beachwood. Bank Fishing says, just watch your last video, bro. I haven't laughed so hard in a while. You said, my career is over. <laughs> hey, Coco County Woodpile stacked high. Doggy, that's right, Cujo Niner. Louisiana Animal says, what's your thoughts on them passing that bill that got the transgenders in women's facilities? What a shame. Esau Player says, the wiggalization is definitely real. Hip Hop Exposed says, hey, Gunner, you ever seen Puerto Ricans from the sur or north? Yes, I had a homeboy that was Puerto Ricano. His name was Rico, man, from EPA. Also, man, a big boxer over there on Paradigm Media is Puerto Rican. Sacred Intuition says, Yo, what the best public places to meet some legit females? Church. Church, homie. A legit female? Church. A torta? Jack in the box. Or Walmart. Nancy Santa Maria. Hey, how you doing, girl? Esau player. It's your world. I'm just passing through this motherfucker. What a dookie. Nancy says, hey, guys in the chat. B says, the scoop on me. And Nancy says, what? Steve Easy says, we took a vote out here on the east, and we want to take Hoopster West back to the west. Nope. You guys keep them out there, bro. We're good with them. We don't need that in our lives. High Power Fitness. What's up, Kanan? How you doing, my brother? Super Soda Jerk said, this is the best channel on YouTube. You're funny as hell, brother. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how, but you found me. Cracker D says, I'm drinking coffee. No sugar, brother. There you go. It'll still keep you up. Mm. JL Research and my boy Trev says, when you see the foam, Gunner is in the zone. When you see me foaming at the mouth, Gunner's from the north, not the south. And I'm coming through, right? I think Jumpsuit, Jumpsuit Pablo has been doing some stand-up or improv comedy. Has he? You know, I've really never really watched his channel too much. I might have to get to a few of his episodes and see where he's popping. Nando says, when I started this, Mr. Gunner, those stories of tu primo are a trip. Keep up the grind, brother. Hey, gracias, canal. Diachoa says, Diachoa has entered the building, hitting it like a torta on a Friday night. Shout! You bosses put a set together and practice. I'll jump from there. Y'all should do a stand-up. You'll end up in a movie. Nancy says, after visiting El Salvador, go visit Costa Rica. I, at this point, I'm just trying to visit... Modesto. I, hey, Dave Gibson said, Gunner, what's the items to get at Costco? I'm going rotisserie chicken, tortillas, lime, cilantro, a little bit of cebolla. Chop them on down and some avocate, and you're good. Tacos. Much love and respect, Gunner. Hey, Christian Dela Cruz, thank you, brother. Thank you for the many blessings. I've seen what you've been doing, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, sacred uh, Intuition, Eastside Players is a truck stop. What's good? Just hit the elote man now, Gunner. Ooh, we going to get some elote. Some of that corn hits differently. Trev got his coffee. My boy Mud Hooligan from the Cabbage Gang is in the building. He says, don't ever talk about Britney Spears or else. It's your world. I'm just passing through, bro. You seen that video of those cops killing that unarmed girl who was kidnapped by her father? Unfortunately, I have. I did a video on it back then. You're talking about the one out of the Inland Empire, right? Um, I did. Jesus says, what's going on, Gun Gun? Or was it in Victorville? I think it happened. What's good, Gun Gun? Salud de Texas. Content definitely been better. Super Norteño video is funnier than a motherfucker. I have a cousin, too, that I've always had adventures with as well. Tracy Saldana, what's up, lady? I see you. How you doing, girl? What's up, Gun? Tapping in from Galveston, Texas. Much respect. 177 in the building. 119 likes. I appreciate each and every one. White Boy Ryan. Sticks is his older brother. Hey, Cujo Niner. Oh, you know Lanny? You know Lanny? Yep, that's him, bro. That one guy said, what's the best tacos in the Fresno area? While working, I went out to the Romaine Park area a couple of weeks ago and ended up talking with the guys hustling on the block and got info on a great restaurant. Um, I'm not sure which exactly spot is popping like out there in Fresno, man. Um, I'll try to stay. You know, I mean, I, I used to go wiggle in Fresno, but I try to stay the fuck away from there. I don't want to get bit by the, in my boot heels by a bulldog. Jack in the box. Uh, Coach Kiss, as much respects to you, sir, from Columbus, Ohio. Likewise, my brother. Good tortas at the taco truck down the street. Justin R said, Jumpsu Pablo really get jumped and kidnapped? Was that real or fake? I don't know, bro. I never even heard that, seen that. Isn't just Jumpsu Pablo that guy with like one tooth that's just hanging on like in Vogue, just trying to hold on? Uh, Gilly G says, I got to date this. What? My boy Gilly G got a date? Ding dong, the witch is dead, the witch is dead. Gilly's going to be in that motherfucking mirror like putting it on his bow tie. Ding dong, the fucking witches day. He's going to be getting it. That's right, Gilly G, man. Enjoy yourself. Be be courteous. Be respectful. Um, I ain't got to tell you what to do, bro. With hair like that, you're bound to get you some. Jay Brown says, come, people. 174 watching, only 120, 20, uh, 12 likes. Hit that like button. We should be even. Steven, beautiful cover girl. I said, what would you do if someone started staring at you and started laughing and they was active and you aren't? Um... I don't know. I'd laugh with them, not at them. I, I wouldn't even, I don't care, bro. Hey, at this point in my life, I'm too old, homie. 
if someone laughs or smirks or whatever, I don't feel compelled to hit them up and put myself and my kids' uh, uh, future at risk. You know, if someone says something in a direct manner that disrespecting me, well, then that's a different story. But if they're just smiling and laughing, hey, you could you could think someone's and they're looking through you, not at you, bro. And they might be laughing at something behind you. And here you are doing a life beef because you walked up and blew their fucking face off. And I can tell you guys a story right now. You guys want to hear a crazy story? Hit a one. I got you. I'll tell you how make how perceiving something of what it really isn't, how it could get you caught up and you'll do it all day. Put your DNA on that, says PGA. Street Squeeze says the rumors that you get on a sick one is bullshit. I could tell when someone is on one. Look. Hey, if I was on a sick one, I would I if I was on a sick one, I wouldn't have all this. <laughs> I would have been collected off like Swifty Blue did at the pawn shop. Come on, bro. Um, there's a lot of rumors that go around. Hey, Junior Escaena, saludos, carnal. I just move smooth with a purpose. I talk fast. I'm hyphy. I'm hype. I got slanguage, bro. My charisma is out of this world. I pull hoes like motherfuckers over there. Try, like Diddy's trying to pull bros. That's just what it is, bro. And there's going to always be people that that talk, but it's just talk. Um, so you always a super north in one still. Fran and Bear, I got you mañana. Steve Jackson says, hey, Collective, great channel and content question. Who was the biggest, not fattest homie you ever saw during your time in CYA or CDC? Um, there was a big homeboy from Madeira. Uh, what did we call him? Fuck, man. Hey, this fool's fucking chest. He was yoked. I'll remember his name later. Um, I think it was also, but I don't want to just, I don't want to put, you know, that on it. But he was a big motherfucker. Then the homeboy Mousy from Stockton. His chest was so fucking big. He was bigger than Wes Watson. No, nothing. That was in the youth authority. He was 17 years old, bigger than Wes Watson is now. Facts. So anyways, trip out to tell you guys the story. Um, so I was in prison and I met this dude and he was from Chicago and he was a pimp out of Chicago. Right. And we were in the shoe. We were doing shoe time. And I used to conversate with him and he was just a cool dude, laced me up on a lot of the game, a lot of the shit that I say, you know, he just had unlimited wordplay. Pimps are like that. And he was a real one, not one that was out on the streets, just barely making it. I'm talking about this motherfucker still had hoes, still was doing his thing. Not that pimping, I, I condone that or whatever. To me, that's human trafficking. But then I didn't know, you know, or I'd have been trying to preach at him. But it was what it was. You know, I just got down with his demeanor, his style. And the way he carried himself, his business was his business. Anyways, he was doing 10 years. Uh, do you have any personal stories with Shadow from RBL? I got a lot, Street Squeeze, a lot. And so um, that was that, right? So anyways, he ends up paroling. And let me tell you, to get back to the homeboy Funk's uh, a question about if someone was staring at you, what you would do. So his first day out after doing 10 years in prison, 10 straight years, solid. Um, he gets out, the whole world ahead of him. Brother's going to hook him up with a job, got a place to go. He got a gang of chicks, man, that want him. I mean, just, just going to live his life. And he was a good brother, man. Not a racial brother, not, not into feeling sorry for himself. I mean, he was compassionate to others. He was just cool, right? He had changed his ways, but he wasn't no fucking punk. He was a gangster, too, in every sense of the word. So, of course, how he got his hand on a cuete, I don't know, but he had something on him, right? You got it on you? Like my cousin used to always say, you got it on you? Yeah, I got my dick on me. Well, shit, I got mine on me too. Yeah, but no, you don't got it on you. You, you might have had it in you, but that's another story for two more days. So, anyways, the Vato, um, pimping and pandering. You know what it is, Cujo Niners. So, anyways, um, he gets out. Now, prior to him being incarcerated, it was different in prison, right? So, I mean, it was different on the streets. So, do you remember back in the days you'd go to Burger King, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, you'd order a soda. And they fill it up and hand it to you. Now, of course, when you go through the drive through they still do that. But if you go into the store, the actual restaurant, um, they just hand you a cup. And there's machines there for you to fill it up yourself, right? And so there's youngsters working in the, in the restaurant. And he goes in. Now, prior to him getting locked up, this was never the case. You would order a soda. They'd fill it up. What do you want? Dr. Pepper, whatever. they fill it up behind the counter, hand it to you, right? But now times have changed. And it's a big culture shock when people get out. Little things like that you take for granted. Times and things change. You have to go with the flow or learn them as you go, right? Ad lib. But he didn't know this. Okay. He's the type of dude, very respectful, but can't stand to be disrespected. So he goes, they go to fuck. He's only been out five, six hours, I guess. They go to fucking Burger King. He orders his food. He orders a Dr. Pepper. 
right? And um, I know this because when he got back incarcerated after fighting his case, man, I was hearing so many stories about it. I know it to be true. And so this dude goes to the fucking restaurant, orders his food and orders a fucking Dr. Pepper. And the guy hands him a cup. And he looks at the cup and he's like, bro, stop playing with me. I said, Dr. Pepper. Now, the youngster doesn't understand, doesn't know that he just got out of prison, doesn't know that he doesn't know. Right. So the youngster is just kind of looking at him like, the fuck you want me to do, bro? The fuck you want me to lick around the rim and put chamoy on it for you? Come on, bro. Take your cup and get to pushing. There's a long ass line and I'm already stressed out because I'm only making nine dollars and seventy five cents an hour. And the homie. It's like, bro, don't disrespect me like that, man. I ain't the one. You don't know me. I ain't the one. Get, I said, motherfucker, I said, Dr. Pepper. And the dude was like, man, fill your own fucking Dr. Pepper up. And he felt he was trying to play him. And now this was a situation where he didn't necessarily ask questions like he should have. And the guy didn't recognize the plight he was in. The homie pulled out a quit and blew his face off right there in the store in front of everyone. Okay. Um, he ended up catching life in prison for that. And on his first day out, he was back. I've told that story before in the past and it's a true story, right? He was from Chicago, man, but he had moved out to the West and, and that's true. That's fact. So I say that to say this, sometimes you get your finger, your, your, your shit crossed, man. And someone might be looking around you at the person behind you, or yeah, they might be mugging a little bit because they're having a bad day, bro. Is it really that serious to get off on them? It really isn't that serious because see, I've been through that situation where people stared at me and back, back in the days I used to be like, Hey homes, what you looking at homie? They'd be like the menu. Oh, the penta. Shit. Yeah, take the pineapple. It's bomb, right? And I had and I felt like shit. I had to clean it up because I was in the bad, you know? Hey, out of snacks. What's happening, man? Thank you. Welcome to the little clips. I'll see you again, man. We got the fucking PS5 thing popping. We're going to get that going on next week, man. So make sure you guys tap in for that. Trev is in the building. He says 303 to the 96 uh, to the 970. Perrio says, what's the tortas at, homie? Shit, last night. Let's just say last night I was wiggling. She's probably watching right now, so I'm telling the truth, but I'm not going to say who because I'm not going to disrespect. People need to learn how to speak with respect, says j -Ball. Absolutely. Um, so in a, in a way, they were both in a bad situation. Facts. The youngster, because he didn't take the time to realize the type of individual he was dealing with and see the puzzling look on this guy's face. That's why I always treat everybody with the, the utmost respect, because I understand that just you never know the type of day someone's having. They could be having a bad day, a good day, and you might overstep your boundaries. Someone that you play with constantly, you guys always fucking clown or whatever. He might not be having a great day that day. Um, and then just one little thing could set him off. So that was it. Seattle Fleet was happening. Jay Nelly, Kuja Niners says, yo, I just noticed your hat, your design and colors on point. You feel me? <laughs> you understand where I'm coming from? This is my no pumper hat. You know, like like no jumper, but it's my no pumper. Um, and, and that's just my message to the brothers. Please, man, when you see uh, Adam's old lady, no pumper, <laughs> no pumper. She ain't ready for that. Oh, maybe she is. One never knows, does one. Big John Stud, respects first. Absolutely. One of my super gangster cousins gets off whenever he's at. Look, take a look. Oh, over a look. Oh, bro. Wait till we get to the super north end how he went on flight mode uh, for like a month. Where he was so mad, he was flighting everybody. Watch. His mom beat the shit out of me. It was funny. We're going to get to all that. Damon Almares, that's right. Perillo says, 15 palos, homie, it's enough. I am digging a torta. He's been like that. Said, Wait up. 15 palos? What do you mean? He's been like that since he was 13, says J-Mo. That's a crazy-ass story. RIP to that youngster. Yeah, just that simple. That kid went to go work at a greasy-ass fucking Burger King joint and didn't have it his way. They didn't king him. Mm -mm. You know, and the, look at the homie, man. After 10 years solid, was out six hours and was right back at it like a smack at it. Um, and that's just a fact. Where I come from in Glasgow as a youth, you did not look at people. That's right, Joe. Um, and that's a in other countries. It's like that. You don't even catch uh, grown adults at a high level because it's a form of disrespect. Big John Stuss says Diddy needs a no pumper. Right. Diddy has a pumper from what I heard. Uban says, no Brian Pumper. What's up from Bakersfield? Order Nicole Scritchfield. I see you. Dave Gibson says, great and a scary story. All at the same time. It's a it's it's a sad story. It's an unfortunate story. It's a horror story, but it's a motivating story. And I say that to say this. What I try to give you guys with these stories, these real stories that I'm spitting is knowledge you can't get in college, meaning street stories. Um, and you take from it what you will. I'm trying to help you out, man. Hey, Michael Martinez says, what's good? Gummy and the Nev had to come in and support. Hey, I appreciate you guys, brother. 
Facts. Wolfie says, hey, Gun, can you do a video of an incident that you know of getting turned out in prison? I don't know. No, no, <laughs> Wolfie, um, I got you. I got you. Um, I seen an unfortunate thing, man, in the youth authority. Never seen nothing really in prison, too. I mean, I seen some shit go down in prison. I've told stories on them already. Um, but I seen some shit in why that it boggled the mind, that it make a motherfucker go, hmm. All right. Wild shit. Try walking around NYC, Seattle Fleet. Shit. Let's get your let's get your troop on like a stormtrooper. Tim Stoy says, Do you got any gauges in your lobes or is that tatted? No, they're um. They're uh, Cadillac tattoos. I got the Cadillac symbol right here, and I got the matching tattoos on the ears. That's the three-piece extra crispy with a side order of sucker sauce. Don't give people the satisfaction of, a re of your reaction. That's right, B. Cali King says, Buzz or Cholo Trucker, who wins? They both win, man, because they're both good dudes. Um, I respect them both. I'm not going to pick on that. It was a toss-up, man. Uh, still waiting on that story on the Mexican bloods. They look like Norteño, says Perio. Forever, says West knows the tune-out stories. Uh, Isaiah Gracias. I looked for it, but couldn't find it. I appreciate the Gucci. My boy, the Gucci is in the building. He says, Cuba Gun, how you doing this, homie? Or how you doing, homie? I'm doing great, brother. How are you? That's the real question. I'm always wiggling, man. The other day, a neighbor started talking crazy to me over a parking spot. She threatened me by telling me I'm going to teach you. I asked her what she was going to teach me. Tell her, tell her to teach you how her fucking throat muscles work. Gunsmoke says, you, you like yellow gold or just silver? Yellow gold. Yeah, I wear yellow gold, bro. This is yellow. This, this one right here is yellow gold. This one's yellow. Yeah, I have more. I mean, I think I got one silver piece. Hey, Joe Conley, thank you, my brother. I appreciate you. Nick says, I'm back. What did I miss? Oh, you missed a good story, brother. Gunner, what was your favorite video game as a kid? I like Contra. Remember Contra? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B. Did you make your PlayStation account yet? Hey, Last night, come on, I was just, I got that. I got that, right? And I was just about to make it. Then I got a phone call. They called on Tyrone. Actually, it was a text message. What are you doing right now? No, I'm just laying on my couch. I was tired of the motherfucker too. Stomach hurting, you know what I mean? From all the pills I take for my diabetes. And I was just in that motherfucker like, fuck. I fucked up my steaks and I'm chilling. I was about to get to some PlayStation shit, right? And she texted me, what are you doing? And I said, I don't know. And after about five minutes, would you like to come over? I was in my car doing 50. I was doing 60 in the fast lane, pedal to the flow, man. My mom used to say, don't point at people. It's disrespectful. It absolutely is. I got a caddy tat as an end cap on my shoulder. That's right, Trev. That's right. Uh, J Moss has started yelling for her brothers. Two guys came out wanting to fight. I explained the situation to them and the situation de-escalated. It usually does when guys have like-mindedness, man, and there really isn't, they don't want no issues. Um, it could always be, be resolved with words. When then it can't, you know, respects is Cali King. Antonio Peralta says, what do you think of Kendrick Lamar's this song? He went hard in the paint. Why is my nose different right now? It's either a hair. It definitely ain't Coke because I'm tired. 203 in the building, 162 likes. I appreciate you. Smash that like button. Let's get it to 300 for the gun, man. Let's show some support, man. I, I really appreciate it. I'm about to get evicted. You've been there, Sharon. I've, I've never been evicted, but I've been thrown out. It seems like every torta I'm with throws me out. <laughs> They, they just, you're just, it's something, you're damaging my insides. Well, I, you're right. It's more cushion for the pushing, right? Yeah. But after about six months straight, there is no cushion left. I have to go back to work. I'm doing overtime. Have a blessed day. I'm not catch you on the next live, homie. All right, Mr. Garcia. Hey, enjoy yourself, bro. Get your bag on. Eddie Espinosa, saludos from the Valle Imperial. Imperial Valley's in the pad, man. David Gibson says, smash that like button. Let's get it to 300. Wolfies is not going to lie. Norteños remind me a lot of my H-Town Stilo. Yeah, the Norteños and the Tejas Stilo, like the Tangos, very similar. Very similar, bro. I will say that. Excuse me, I got the burpees. Kujo Niner says, we ain't trying to tune you out. We trying to turn tune you on or turn you on. That's right. Rico Suave Trece. Hey, good afternoon, brother. Disculpame. Everlasting base. Ill Cass says, what did, did you like the Shinobi video game? That's the one where you throw the fucking things, huh? Shinobi? It was all right. Jay Moss said Gunner never played any games. He was born with his tats in a red bandana. Out there on the yard by himself like Santana. Homeboy with the Mac Manor and a fucking hammer. Letting it known. Let it be known. Homeboy, yeah, I got the grammar. got the slanguage. The language to make it all happen. Gun loke on the block with the Glock. Get it to crack it. It's a back end. <laughs> I can't rap. And look at my boy Joe Conley said, man, I told him not to rap. Gunsmoke says, ABAB, select start. Man, AC Abara, Q will gun tapping in one time for the show. My support, homie. Shout out to Salas. Orale, Fustang Gang. 
Gabe Gibson says Contra, one of the best. J Maul, if more people would talk it out, it would save a lot more lives. I agree. Contra, wow. I should have texted you. Uh, uh, she who sees says, I should have texted you. Uh, Contra on Nintendo. Uh, game was fire. Everlasting base. Trev. Galaga, the corner store all day long. What up? Been loving the videos. Mad funny. Jers, PG3. I see you, man. Greg says, Bean. See them bottles in my town, and I know I'm fist to put it down. Bean. That's my shit. You guys know that. Did you see the story on what happened to the rapper D Baby from Houston? I have not. What happened, Rue? Fan first says, Has the Super Northenio hit you up yet? Yeah, I talk to him every day. I talk to him about every day now, bro. I accept his calls now. Now it's the first ring. I let it sting. And he was like, bro, I seen that shit. Shit was hella funny, bro. But you fucking put too much hot sauce on. I'm not like that, man. I'm not like that. I don't say that north there all the time. I'm saying, well, what are you doing right now? I'm laying right over my old lady. We're listening to the GUN album. <laughs> I am the babe, bro. No disrespect. That little diddy dude throwing dirt on your name. Uh, that little diddy dude throwing dirt on your name. Uh, little diddy. I don't know who little diddy is, brother. Uh, Greg, order the gun. We need super North Daniels on the show. I don't give a fuck who talks about me. I am the babe. Thank you for the message, bro. I don't care about no kids, no grown adults, nobody. Anyone who talks shit about another man, literally because they there's something that they want from them, and it's probably dick. Greg, order the gun. We need Super North Daniel on the show. Osvaldo says, what's up, bro? How's everything? Get the likes as high as I'm about to be, says B. There's a new game on Contra, says Chaos. Nicole says, hey, Gunner, how are you today? What's up, Nicole? How are you doing? Everlast see how I did that? See how I switched my tone up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to win. <laughs> so Dino laugh. Perdios is gonna. What you think of the Mexican rapper Adan Zapata getting his Netflix series? Righteously, man. I'm just glad that Mexicanos are just stepping their game up and getting what they got coming. Black Warrior Spirit in the house. Trev says, I got bars. Do you think I can rap, Trev? Just a little bit. I've been told from time to time that I got the I don't got the voice for it, but I got the the spit. I could be a ghostwriter. Uh, humility is the best way. Sometimes you got to eat humble pie. Salutes, guns. Hey, absolutely, man. I love Black Warrior Spirit, man. He's uh, he's definitely clechot up, meaning he's he's schooled up. He's got game. The irony of two individuals that think that they know it all, right, had no inspiration, no spirit like a Black Warrior Spirit. This guy right here doesn't proclaim to know it all, but knows it all. And I respect that about him. Um, you've given me so much game, bro. Just your messages that you put. I know you know what's up. Lucky says you should get your cousin to freestyle on the live one day. Oh, they're about to be like, <laughs> Southsiders won't watch me no more. He's too much. He's too much. I was, hey, guns, you don't got to answer or I don't want to offend you or anything. But do you ever think sometimes like, damn, I wish I was still active? No, I don't, Isaiah. Um, I did at some points in my life, bro. Um, I don't now. I'm active in my kid's life. I'm active in the community. I'm active with real camaradas and homeboys from the South right here. Like my boy, the official Big Joe show. Cuvo, my brother, Gun Gun. What's up, Joe? I send my love, brother. Salute, peace, and blessings, Mr. Gunner's Black Warrior Spirit. I'm, hey, um, I'm solid with my activities, bro. There's a lot of different things I could be active in rather than killing other Mexicans. You know what I mean? That's just me. I'm not hating on anyone. I don't care what anyone else got going on. That's their thing. It's not my thing. My thing is trying to make the world a better place by me being a better person. That's my contribute. That's my contribution to it, right? I made the world a better place because I chose to step back and be a better person. Because if not, it'd be a much worse place with me in it, acting the way I was acting, because I was going to the fullest. Super Ran on your channel says Daniel Sanchez. I am the base is Diddy Island. No disrespect, brother. Keep grinding. I don't know who I've never been to Diddy Island. Fuck that. I don't fuck with Meek Mill, Usher, none of them cats. Just a beaver. When he came out with that song, baby, I knew something was wrong. A little something funky, right? Jeezy. I think you can spit, bro, especially if you put your mind to it, because just off the top, you got some shit. For real, for real. Nicole says, switch your tone up just for me. Like butter. Did I make your heart flutter? Juan says, order the gunner. I want some tits on opening up a page on Surrenders and Norteños deported in Mexico and our experience south of the border in call centers. Hey, Juan Pl uh, Placencia, that's a trip that you say that because my homeboy was out there working in TJ at the call centers. So I know all about that. Hit me up on TikTok, my brother, and I'll, and I'll, you know, give you the get down on what you need to do. Absolutely. Norteños in la casa, just raise up. Norteños in the house, just raise that was the That was the jam. Tell the truth, though. Good morning from the Philippines. Mike Wohler is in the house. King 24. Hey, hey man. Amor de Rey. Shout out and respects to my peoples, man. That's right. I see you. B says, just write the lyrics and sell them. That's right, gun. That's the active you want. That's the only active I know I could be, man. Um. You know, when I first got out, 
was I ready to be put in the position that I was in to, to no longer be in the greatest standings? No. Is it hard for me to live like this? Um, at one point I did care what people thought about me. Like I cared. Um, and then I realized it, it doesn't matter. eh? you know, fuck it. Did you ever spend time on Belcher Road Camp? It's gone now. Not sure how old you are. Never was on Belcher Road Camp. I remember, fuck, you go way back, Rick. You go way back. Never did time in Belcher. I was back in Sandy Mush way back in the days. I'm 45, bro. I was there with uh, Randy and Ronnie, the twins, and and all them. Sharon says, uh, why your shirt inside out? It's not inside out. See? It's not inside out. The only thing that ever is inside out around me is pussy. Diddy Island, what the fuck's the 709 High Life? We getting that like up to 185 with 200. Let's get to 200 right now. We're at 187. They're trying to kill my shit. When are you going to wear an Ellie Rams cap um, when they win? <laughs> Frankie D or I lose a bet. I don't know. I don't own a Rams cap. I already promised someone I'm going to get a Houston Astros. Saw my mind like it's going to be on my skull. Um, but I like the Rams colors, bro. So I'm going to have to rock a Rams jersey and a hat and todo. Back in the day, we used to go to the corner store and use paper clips instead of quarters to get the arcade games to work. We used to, we had a quarter. Me and the homeboy, we put a fishing line through a hole, a hole, and then a fishing line. My dad made it, bro. And we used to drop it in the thing and steal free credits. And the Arabs used to be pissed. No, 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 no. My friend, no, you steal from me, my friend. Meanwhile, my homeboy, while I'm diverting their attention, stealing credits, my homeboy's in the back stealing all the Snickers bars. We were cold. We're cold little kids, baby kids. All right, my boy, I'll get at you. Orderly one, P. Diddy and Meek Mill are getting married on the island. The plane, the plane. He likes peanuts. He don't like them plain. Every day I wake up, thank God I live another day. Sometimes I get tired of the gun spray, but what can I say? Do I crease up my bands, grab the red bun, crease up across my forehead? Orderly, everlasting base, I see you. You want to sell Mary Kay homes? Uh, I heard if you drop out, some fools don't have to go through the debriefing process. Is that true? Absolutely. 100% facts and truth, Isaiah. 100% facts and truth, man. Um, you only go through the de debriefing process if you're a validated member of the big four, bro. If you're a validated member of the big four prison organizations, you will have to go through a debriefing process. If you're not, if you're just an associate or just a regular northerner or northenio or anything like that, you don't absolutely you don't have to go through a debriefing process. They can't make you say what you don't want to say. The Northenios in Vacaville are dropped out and they take flight on actives, right? I no, I have no idea, bro. Um, I don't want to speak on anyone's city who's active, who's not. Respects to everyone. I don't, I don't know, brother. What you know, that might just be a street, a city. I don't know. Jay Mall says inside out shirt, same shirt, different day. You know what it is? Shit, my cousin, he wore his shit inside out three times in a row. He just kept turning it different way. I said, bro, put a different shirt on those because I sweated, so I just flipped it inside out. Yeah, but you've been wearing that shirt for three days straight. Can you tell? No, but I could smell straight up. Saludos, Gunner. Hey, Mr. Payaso was live yesterday. He shouted you out. He was singing your intro, Pinta Bound, but he played guilty. He's doing nine years in La Pinta, dropping a – oh, wait. Is that right? He's doing nine? Hey, shout out respects to Mr. Payaso, man, from Seattle. That's a Sureño right there, man, that I got a lot of respect for. He respects me even in my in my situation with what got, what's going on with me. Um, that dude has always kept the respect for him. That's a motherfucking gangster right there, bro. I respect him. No no cat. You're living like that, gang banging. You either fall off, get knocked off, or just jump off. Let him know, Cujo. Sharon says Shaka versus Pro Club. I like Shaka and Pro Club. I like them both. I tried that taking a, a dollar thing. On a vending machine, I saw in a movie when I was a kid. It didn't work. I got a quarter with a hole in it, but haven't tried it yet. Oh, that shit. I don't know if it would work now. Lucky shit's different now. The arcades are not the same. Now you need a card and shit. Uh, hey, my boy 213 from the South Side says, Cuba Gun Gun, what's up, Kanan? Black Warrior Spirit says, I'm listening on the road. Great discussion. Hey, thank you, Black Warrior Spirit. I like these type of discussions more so where I could still do my comedy, but at the same time, it's something that I truly believe in inspiring, man. So thank great questions tonight, man. We're really getting it in 186 people in here with 200 likes. And that's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys for all the support. How's the diabetes local is some days is good. Some days is bad. They gave me on, got me on all types of medications. And every time I eat, I feel like shit for an hour, bro. I have to lay down, relax. Um, then I can get back to fucking, you know what I mean? LSR Baceres is my job in life is an artist. You're what up, Gunner? Much love. Tap it in from the NYC. West Nile 21 is in the building, man. I see you. I see you. Jeezy says, just trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. 
be legit from the West side and still pay the rent. Isaiah Mitchell said, who was the stinky fool in the cell from Yuba City? Oh, the caquero? <laughs> I forget his name, bro, off the top. To be honest with you, sub Gunner, what's crack lacking? What's up, John Joseph? Freddie Lopez says on the N-word that you talked about. They talk like that in Texas. No matter. I know. I can tell you guys a little story about a torta right now from Texas that, that I had a backup offer because she said the N-word too much. How do you feel about $20 McDonald's minimum wage? Well, I mean, somebody's going to be able to get milk and eggs. Dito, at this point in our life, bro, I mean, that's a great thing that McDonald's is actually doing it because I know a lot of the paisas and a lot of the raza work at McDonald's. McDonald's is actually a good job. Don't get it twisted. My prima started when she was young at McDonald's. She owns a couple McDonald's right now. Facts. Um, she's been with it for like 30, 40 years. Seattle or Portland, uh, says Jeezy. What do you mean Seattle or Portland? Which city is better? I think Seattle because on Portland, they shit all on the concrete and shit. Feel like I'm going to go to McDonald's, says B. $20 minimum wage means $6, $6 McDoubles. Bro, I just went to McDonald's today for my kid. Palabra. For a Big Mac was like nine bucks. It was crazy. Did he do it or didn't he, says Woofy. Miguel Hernandez says, bro, I moved to Levi's. Ain't shit out here, but a gang of fucking homies. You better watch out, Miguel. Please tell me you're a homie, bro, if you're living in Levi's and not from the south side, bro, because I, I encourage you highly. I highly encourage you, bro. Don't get caught slipping right there, bro. That's like an active prison yard. How you got diabetes? Got to be born with it. Yes, Tim. I, I it, it runs in my family on both sides, bro. So, yeah. And you don't have to be born with diabetes. You could destroy your body and catch diabetes. I think the sodas I was drinking, um, because usually fat people, and I, I'm not disrespecting fat people, but people that are overweight, heavier set, get diabetes. Um, it's just what happens. I'm thin, muscular. And I got diabetes just because I, you know, I've always been susceptible to it because of my, you know, my family. Uh, Trev says, Tim, no, you don't see exactly. Trev, Trev is saying it. Anyone can get it. Um, you could get pre be pre become pre diabetic because you're taking in too much sugar intake. I've been looking into it. I, hey, my boy Jesse J Cox is in the motherfucking building. Tell hey Jesse, don't ever go around Diddy with that last name. Hey, hey, take that. Take the egg that can you tap that that dude right there? Uh Jay Cox. Oh. <laughs> CMBR, not the salty chips. Shit smelling like a wet bag of ruffles. I'm telling you, you should do a meet and greet in the central via, says Sharon. Ah, oh, they'll be mad at me if I go to the meet and greet in the central via. I'd end up catching life in prison or they'd kill me. How bad is it for Sureños and Vacerville or Corcoran and Soledad? Um, it's not. They're the majority on, on each one of those yards, other than probably Chole. Maybe Soledad has more Norteños, but as far as Vacerville and Corcoran, um, there's a Southsider's got the numbers. Food prices are ridiculous. You ain't lying. Puro McDonald's. What are the McDonald's? Juan Palen uh, Pal Placencia says, I'm a Sureño deported from LA, but I met Norteños in Boys Republic. Uh, got down with a few and even mingled with a few from San Jose, Oakland, and Stockton. We are not much different. Glad there is unity in the joint. Hey, Juan. Absolutely, bro. There's not a difference there. The only difference is I think Northenders wear like a, a brown hairnet and Southsiders wear a black. Speaking of hairnets, wait till you get to the video tomorrow about my cousin. It's going to blow your mind. It almost blew his. I'm glad you touched on the N-word topic in that video, bro. I'm not from California, but from what I know, there's a lot of racial issues out there. So it makes no sense for brown people to use that word. It makes no sense for anybody to use that word. Okay. Um, just because that word comes from a derogatory background. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look, man, I did time with a lot of real ones. And this real OG black dude, man, black gorilla family got at me. And he he explained exactly why he doesn't like his own people to use the N-word. Why are you going to take a word? And I understand about taking a word and adapting to it. As Norteños, we did that with the word buster, which was meant to be a derogatory statement. And we started getting, I got it on my head, 114% buster and all that. Um, so I understand that. But with the word that's so universally known to be a disrespectful or an ignorant word, why would so many of these younger people or anybody say it? I mean, if you listen to these songs, it's said over and over and over again, like, yeah, we get it, bro. We get where we get. That's what you are. Or that's what you proclaim to be. Oh, I'm a real and I'm a real. And all right. Cool. Cool, bro. If that's what you want to be considered. But to me, that's always been a derogatory thing. I don't think nobody should say that word. Least of all Mexicanos. Some of the struggles and, and the turmoils and oppression that we went through, why would we belittle ourselves um, to be speaking um, something derogatory? You're supposed to educate your mind and elevate your game rather than just falling back into the prehistoric days. And that's what I think people are doing. 
They're backing up rather than going forward. You can't preach forever forward if you're forever going back. Minimum wage went up. Yes, bigger check. Uh huh. And that means milk's going to be $19 a fucking gallon. Wes now says my uncle is pre-diabetic and he ain't hug huge at all. It's about what you consume. His wife cooks with a lot of salt, oil, and sugar. Nicole, uh, Nicholas Hernandez is, disculpa me, guard. I have a feeling that 2024 is going to be a year we will always remember. I, I believe so too, fifth child. I believe so too. Minimum wage goes up, everything goes up. What's the point? Um, Because it looks good, bro. It looks, everything, hey, it's all good on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. Like my fucking primo's old lady. Well, wait up. She don't look good on the outside either. <laughs> Just fucking rotted to the core. Uh, how much is minimum wage now in Cali? Uh, are North and South united behind bars now or not? Not united, but working hand in hand to deal with certain issues. They're at a de soft defensive stance, meaning there's no issue there. They're not going to war. They're not at wartime right now. It's peacetime. Uh, Tim Stoy says, sorry, Trev, no disrespect. Just talking. Uh, Tim, not hitting, bro. I got the dad bod. I stopped doing my burpees when I left the gate, bro. Isaiah says, hey, guns always wanted to know what if some homies can't keep up with the workout, what happens to them? Um, so if you say you're a big fat dude, bro, we had a homeboy that was like that. He just couldn't, bro. We understood. I mean, it depends. It actually depends on how high powered the guys are who were running the yards. Facts, right? Um, to each their own. But everyone's supposed to be in branching union when it comes to the homies. Um, but if you know that a homie can't for whatever reason, bro, he just has to stay on track and do what he can. Now, if it's a youngster that's nice and he's just refusing to or trying to play the system, trying to get a soft shoe chrono, he's going to get whacked, bro. He's going to get whacked, man. You're only as strong as your weakest link and you don't need homies that play too much. Kids got me stressed out drinking beer and eating sweets. Damn, my boy Trev caught diabetes because the kids was bad. Honesty and respect. Exactly. Minimum wage going up, but hey, give them less hours. So benefits. Gunner, have you ever tried fasting to help with your diabetes? I'm still learning to live with it, Dave. So I'm doing little things. Um, but I'm going to take every different remedy. I'm drinking black tea and just all kinds of different things, meat diets. And the Mexicans from South Central and Compton are also some Northers from Oakland and other areas saying the N word like it's cool, says Juan. Well, you know, brother, um, and I understand them growing up in that environment where that's they grew up saying it. And they feel that it's cool. Um, it's never, a, like I said, bro, it's not the thing of trying to act black and think that people get it twisted. It's the thing of saying a word that's very disrespectful. They could, you could find other ways to try to act something that you're not, man. I feel that, Trev. What are your thoughts on the eclipse? Um, it's going to happen. I'm ready. What are, hey, thank you, Trev. Great, great uh, question. Um, the eclipse is coming in a few days, right? Are you guys ready? Um, I stocked up on water, limited supplies, but I got my shit going. Uh, I'm a prepper. So that's what I do. You know, I got a storage full of shit. Um, and I know there's one other one on here because he showed me some of his stash. He's really doing his thing. I impress upon you. Stay safe that night. If something does happen, if the government uses this as a, a as a chance to implement something or do something, um, all I can say is it's been nice. You know, I'm going to have to do what I have to do for my my family. Um, but I'm fully prepared. Do I think something's going to happen? Probably not. I think it's going to be another day in paradise. But one never knows, does one. They're putting two on the 10 on this shit. Joseph, I'll see you. Fit child. Stay uh, rich, stay rich. The ones living check to check, still going to be living check to check. Joseph, home to, uh, home time tonight. French toast, bacon in a movie. Just living a, uh, leaving a comment. Hey, I appreciate you, Joseph. Mallard the Duck says, being disabled and trying to live on the on that is near impossible. It feels like imprisonment. You feel it? You feel me, Mallard the Duck? When you're on a fixed income, man, that could be one of the worst things, especially when you're still young and living on a fixed income. Um, you feel handcuffed to the bed, huh? But you always have to look at it as an optimistic and not a pessimistic. At least you have a bed. Javi, $20 these days, especially in Cali, is like $6.50 in purchasing power. Let them know, Javi. Spit gang. Nando says apple cider, apple cider vinegar helps regulate your sugars on top of having many other benefits. Fasting for 12 hours a day does wonders as well. I only eat once a day, bro. Like today, I have I uh haven't ate anything. I took my kids to McDonald's earlier. That's how I could tell you is it. It made my wallet do this. In fact, I might need a McDonald's fund here in a minute because <laughs> I don't have shit. It's bad. Uh, I'm trying to cut back on drinking, but it's hard when the homies hit you up. Ah, uh, no, it's, it's very simple. Chaos. Very simple. Guess what? I think uh, some English poet wrote it the best. He said, no, just tell the homies no. Like, hey, bro, I'm good. I know it's hard because you don't want to miss out on anything. See, that's the thing. It's not the drinking 
It's not the going out there and getting your whole shit swallowed like I did last night. What it is more so is the not wanting to miss anything. That's our. That's always been our issue as people. Nobody wants to miss nothing because, hey, the next day the homie's going to be like, you should have been here, eh? Some fucking thought that was running butt naked down the street with a fucking dildo in her ass. For reals? Yeah, you missed today. The one night you chose not to come out and drink with us and you missed the fucking asshole. The fuck was that? A cucaracha? Uh, I was locked up with a really out of shape dude. He couldn't do the workout routine with the organization he was with. So they used to make him jog in place while they were doing their thing. Absolutely. 709 High Life. Sam Romero, I see you, my brother. Uh, how much beans and rice you stashed? I got about 100 pounds of each. Diddy likes to see a bent over eclipse. Ooh wee. He says, now that right there, that's a full moon. He knows what Usher's heart looks like from the reverse side. He said, that brother right there got a gang of heart. Gang of heart and spleen. But we'll get to that later. He knocked Meek Mill's whole kidney out. Meek Mill right now is on dialysis because of what Diddy did to him. I got type two from 40 years of bad diet, seven years and still learning to change my eating habits. That's right, Javi. 709 High Life says I was locked up with a really out of shape dude. He couldn't do the workout. Um, That's right, bro. Just run in place, jog in place. As long as you're putting forth some type of effort, the homeboys can't be mad at you. Hi, I hope you have a great day. Hey, what's up, Monica? How you doing, girl? Q Ball says it's easy to store food. It's water. That's hard to have enough of. Yes, absolutely, Q Ball. Um, I impress upon you, man, water. Water is a commodity. So is gas. So is gas, man. Um, Susie Rivera is checking in. Hey, Gunner and chat. What's up, Susie? Pretty Susie, how you doing? Black Warrior Spirit says, uh, prayers for the diabetes healing guns. Thank you. I appreciate it, bro. I need it. People are like, damn, Gunner, why are your eyes black under? Well, I'm tired most of the time because I work my ass off, right? But also more so than that, the diabetes does that. Um, who has sharper creases, East Los or East Side Sanjo? That's a car competition, Jeezy. I'm going to tell you right now, right off the tippy top, bro, Song was a, a, something to be reckoned with, with the Ben Davises. Um, I think that, hey, you know what? It's the crazy. Who has the hardest creases or the sharpest creases? The creases. <laughs> you know what I mean? They both got creases. I don't know how a North Daniel creases his pants differently from a South Sider, but, man, that's some, something you can learn new every day, huh? Gunner, do you get recognized in public? If so, how do you react with these fans? I don't have fans, man. I have supporters, though, Fit Child. Do I get recognized? I've been recognized several times. Most of them ask for an autograph or take pictures or just a quick conversation. Um, I've had only one issue where somebody was like, hey, who they wanted to do something. So we did something. No, two issues. One in Chico, one in uh, a Chichansi uh, club. They tried to stab me. Um, it was what it was, man. You know, it is what it is. I'm always on my toes. I'm prepared for the host. So um, in my life, I take it one day at a time. If it's my day, it's my day. I'd rather go in the day than at night. As a felon, I can't ever get a gun here in Ohio. Does Oregon have a way to get firearm rights back? I don't live in Oregon anymore, bro. I used to. I live in Washington. Um, and I have absolutely no idea, bro. Nicole says being handcuffed to a bed don't sound too bad. Nicole. Huh. <laughs> hey, it's even better when you just got the grip on the bed. You don't even need handcuffs. You know, just, hey, you handcuff yourself to that bed. Grip so tight from the shit and the pipe that you... Junior Velasquez says, respects from Santa Ruta, homie. Hey, likewise, carnal, respects. You can get diabetes from hooping, says forever. Oh, then Wes Watson's fucking full-blown right now. His toes just fell off. Walk into Diddy's party backwards, because eventually that's the position you're going to end up in anyways. That motherfucker said, take that. Take that. That motherfucker's dancing as people are walking in. You know, he said, oh, no, 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 no. There's too many women in here. We need more of the fellas, right? So we're going to take that. Hey, did you see he was having a party in his backyard? He had the world's largest bed. His whole backyard was a bed. He tried to bring Chris Brown on there. And they tried to, he's trying to jump with Chris Brown. Chris Brown kept trying to get off. He kept dragging him on. He had fucking uh, a Kevin Hart in the headlock. He had Chris Brown by the ear. Them dude, them brothers was trying to fight for dear life at a Diddy party. Aiden Blaze is in the house. He says, I forgot about the eclipse. I should have waited to pay my rent. You feel me, Aiden? It's fucked up that it's on the 8th, huh? A couple days after you have to pay your rent, that's how they get you every time. You're going to die broke. <laughs> it, it just is what it is, huh? Respects to everyone. Say your prayers. We'll be all right. B says, try eating carrots or celery 20 minutes before you eat. It has antioxidants for your stomach. Um, homeopathic medicine, uh, something I did learn in college. A, all right. Thank you, B. That's good to know. Juan says, did you wear blue before you dropped out? Because I wear red all the time, even in the States. I never dropped out, Juan. 
I never dropped out, bro. I got off on the yard, man, and, and became a, a non-active Norteño in bad standings. See, in order to drop out, you have to be from, from one of the big four. I wasn't. Um, so I take it personally when people are like, you're a dropout. Drop out. I never dropped in. You know what I'm saying? Keep talking. I'm going to drop my fucking shoulder down your old lady's guts. Um, but trip out one on this, right? I wore blue my whole life, bro. I'm going to wear whatever color I want, brother. I look flying blue. You know how many chicks I pull in blue? That's it. There's chicks right now fucking damn near wanting to lick the screen. Hot Nicole. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, let me be me. Nah, but bro, I hear you. Nah, I wear whatever color, bro, just like you do. It's not a color thing, bro. We're not Crips or Bloods. We're North and South thugs. Uh, Monica De La Cruz says, make sure you go and check your eyes to get a diabetic eye exam. I have, Monica. My eyes are bad. My eyes are bad. Remember I, I told you guys the story I went blind? That's how I figured out I had diabetes. Um, you know, it is what it is. I do the best I can. Salas has some crispy ass creases on our band. Shit, Salas. Salas got some smooth ass band Davis creases. You ain't lying. Salas is OG original. Good evening, Gunner. Watch the Super Cousin video. Funny. Thank you, Tito's TAB. I see you. CMBR says, your tour comedy show. Should I do comedy? Do you guys really think I can make it in stand-up comedy or are you guys just juicing me up? 50 Shades of Handcuffs. 50 Shades of Quesadilla. Forever says, take that. Take that. Diddy had mill, a meat mill and he break back. He break backs. They call him Breakback Mountain. Not Brokeback Mountain because he has a lot of money. So they call him Breakback Mountain. Diddy's like, hey, man. Hey, little daddy. <laughs> that motherfucker's crazy. Let me take you shopping, little daddy. They say, call him Gunner McFly. My favorite color is camouflage. You feel me, Rick Williams? That's a clean color, bro. Chico says, Payaso wasn't even out for a year and he caught nine. It's his first time doing state prison. He's always done federal time. Yeah, bro, but he'll be able to adapt wherever he goes. Um, I respect that dude, bro. He reminds me of a lot of real, real Southerners I've seen that are like just solid as fuck. Esau Player says, have you tried the Crazy Puffs at Little Caesars? Nah, bro, I stopped getting Little Caesars one time when there was a fucking uh, a roach in my pizza. And it wasn't the kind you smoke. Uh, just got my mate and son and myself KFC, $50 night later. Crazy expensive. Damn, Nick. Hey, enjoy every fucking bite of that, bro. Every bite is like $5. Mallard the Duck says, Tim Stoll, you can get charged. Charges expunged for most charges and get gun rights in Texas. I lived in Ohio as well. Dylan Rodriguez says, who's your sports teams? I'm a Raiders fan and a Lakers fan and a Giants fan. But I wear every team. Well, not every team. There's some teams I just absolutely won't. Um, I wore a Chargers hat the other day. People were on me. Why are you wearing a Chargers hat? Um, I lost a bet with my primo. And he was like, hey, we got to wear Chargers and shit. He always makes me wear Niners or Chargers. Um, but yeah, those are my teams. I'm a big time Lakers fan, bro. I wear a lot of bull stuff just because the color red. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I wear it because of Jordan, you know, I like the bulls back in the, you know, the 96, 97 bulls. My bad. I did not know the difference between dropped out and non-active. Um, one, it's not a big difference, bro, but I can get into detail of the whole get down, bro. And it's, it's not even that serious. My brother respects, man. Uh, Jose says, yeah, you should do comedy. I was thinking that too. You can make it, brother. Your stories are hella funny. Absolutely. You have a natural knack for comedy. What up? What up, Big Gun? Swedish meatball night. Oh, shit. Fuck Taco Tuesday, huh, Robert? We're tired of Mexican Taco Tuesday. We're having Swedish meatball night. <laughs> Honey, what are you making tonight? Well, I was thinking about making tacos. Fuck that. I want Swedish meatballs. No ditty. <laughs> about to pick up some Papa John's. That's right, my brother. Ill cat. Crease in the middle of a T-shirt or two on the sides. I like the one in the middle. And why I used to do the one in the middle. Uh, we used to do one, and my homeboy would do two on each leg. He'd have one, four. Crazy, huh? I'm back, Mr. Gutter. What's up, Jay Brown? I'll see you. Six, 5.0. Hey, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, my brother, for that. It's highly appreciated so much, man. Ilcat says, when are you getting that Nolan Ryan jersey? When I get some money, Ilcat, you know, when I get some money. I only get paid once a month, bro, on this YouTube shit. And then I get paid every two weeks on the job. So I got to coordinate my shit. I have so many bills, but, um, that, and plus I want to get the Nolan Ryan Jersey. So I don't just want to get a regular Houston Astros. So as soon as I come upon the Nolan Ryan, they're like one thirty, then I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna have to start a Nolan Ryan Jersey fund. When are you getting the Nolan Ryan Jersey? It's probably, a, probably about a week. I get paid. Winkle has a 24 piece fried chicken new for 30, $35, 24 pieces of chicken for 35 fucking bucks. You can go buy your own for $6 a pound, right? And, and just cook it yourself. Take that. Take that. Just for <laughs> bitch house is similar to child stars. 
like Macaulay Culkin. People know him as the Home Alone kid, and that is it. Yeah, but Diddy knows him as someone else. And we're not even going to go with Michael. No Cowboys hats, says Dylan Rodriguez. In the negative. In the negative zone with the Cowboys hats. Not because I don't like them. Um, I just don't own one. I've never come across one that I like, you know. Um, I found some of my older hats yesterday, man. I found my Lakers. It's up, it's up there. Look right there by my finger. It's the Sky Gray Lakers. That one's clean. And then I busted out my Sky Gray um, Raiders I wore it today. Uh, I need some coffee, brother. What's up, Eastside Vibin? Cujo Niners said, just want to remind everyone that it's Autism Awareness Day and recognize throughout the month. Recognize autism. You see the colors on me, bro. Um, I want to see Diddy get 45 years like Carlos Coy. Um, I don't want to see any man get time. You know, if he was actually doing anything that involved children or women like that, then he just needs to, to be gone, right? Like in a vicious fashion. Wes Watson has Diddy hoop, hoop and coffee. Oh, yeah, he's going to he's gonna be his uh, 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 get hard, his get hard protege. My dad's second wife made the fire Swedish meatballs, did she? Uh, Chico says, how do I become a member gunner? I got an iPhone. Hey, I don't think you can do it on an iPhone, carnal. Um, if anyone knows how to become a member on the iPhone, let them know. I don't think you can, though. I think you have to do it from a um, an Android or a computer. Stand-up would be great, but your thoughts on the ones who are your haters. Easy target on stage. Um, I'll tell you right now, bro. I'm not, I'm not worried about that, Mike. I'm not worried about about an easy target on stage. There's a lot. Hey, look at motherfuckers would be like, damn, I want to get that full gun. Or if I see them, if they're willing to do all that and go kill me on stage and do all that, just because um, I want to see people get along, they need to fucking look up the sex registry right there in their fucking area and kill their neighbor. Fran and bear says, Abby, Raleigh fingers, Vita blue, no Chicago bulls hat today. Uh, uh, We're going nets with it. This is my no pumper hat. Does YouTube get a percentage of your funds? They do. That's why I usually, um, I, Thank you for everyone that gives me uh, super chats. It helps a lot, but um, cash ups is way better, bro, because they can't get none of that. They just go straight to the pocketbook, man. Uh, Diddy knows Meek Mill as Sheik's Field. In fact, I'm going to put my shit up there right now in case anybody had, feels compelled to do their thing. You know, it's not asked, but it's greatly received. Facts. Let me see. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Maybe if I give my cousin some money, he'll fucking jump on the life. <laughs> That was like, I can't I already ask the homies. They said, your cousin's who? Um, I'm telling you, they wouldn't embrace him. You've already seen how YouTube has treated him, says Fifth Child. Dak Prescott might be traded to the Raiders. Any thoughts on that? Oh, I could fuck with Dak Prescott on the Raiders, Dave. Where'd you hear that at? Do you like Mexican OT, the rapper? Um, I do, but he's he's letting the money get to him. Sonicos. His estilo, as far as his, his rapping style and all that, I hey, I think he's bad, bro. Um, no, no doubt, man. But he's starting to act a little ditty-ish. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about tossing salad and in that fashion. Press join on your TV, YouTube, and a barcode comes up and links to your channel to join. I did it yesterday on my iPhone. There it is. Mike Wooler, uh, Mike Wooler said it. Um, all net. Swish. Hell yeah. Type like me with two fingers. Israel. That's right. Monica says, hey, Gun, I'm going to send you a message on TikTok later on tonight. Something I've been using to help with my diabetes. Okay, Monica, I'll be looking for it, girl. Hey, send mine to your husband, too. Thank you. Dak isn't going nowhere. So I was looking at Nando. He said, fuck that. It's just Cowboys. He ain't going nowhere. So we're not never going to let Dak get away. He hasn't won a fucking playoff game for us yet. <laughs> Bring Super Norte and NMAC onto a live. GBG embraces Diddy as their new shot caller. Take that. Take that. You better watch out because there's some big ass fucking native dude fucking in the GBG called Angel that will take that. Take that. Mexican OT is a hater, says Juan. He he has hated in a certain form or fashion. Um, Mon hey, 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 fit child. Monica's good people, bro. Monica's good. She's good people, bro. Yeah. Uh at Dave Gibson said that trade rumor is all cap. Read the article. It ain't it ain't leather, bro. You know, saying it ain't leather. That's just pleather. Steven says, yo, yo, OT isn't a hater. Says Fit Child. How do we use this cash app? Uh, says Jay Brown. Um, you got to have a cash app. And then you go on to that cash app thing right there. And you just do what you does, cousin. I appreciate you. Daniel Tweedy says, sub gunner. Thanks for all the dope content. Hey, I thank you for thank uh, for thanking me, bro. Thank you. This and that says, hey, Gunner, how you doing this evening? What's up, girl? How you doing? Hey, Gunner, you should play the Ouija board on live. Nah. Nah, hell nah, bro. I ain't trying to invite that type of shit into my pad. 
Chico, that is El Diablo, says fifth child. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't invite that type of shit into my pad, bro. You know, I have children. Um, is that where you was raised, brother? Why are you the way you are? Glad to see a brother make it from Merced County, Rick Williams. Bro, it's town business, homie. Merced County. I lived in Winton on Susie Street, California Street, Cottage, all that, bro. So I know the Winton area at water, but you know, I'm Merced um raised, bro. Beachwood area. Get in. Fit Child says, sorry, Monica didn't know her or her circumstances. Yes, Fit Child, she's definitely a very, very cool, very cool people, man. GB or Lefty, who's a better lyricist? GB. Cut. DX. You're supposed to be trying to hit that. Come on, bro. Don't do them like that, bro. And I'm not just saying because GB's from the town, man, right? Mm. I got to go get me another soda. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Lefty got the stilo, the swag, and all that going on. But do you really think he's, he should even be in that sentence, bro, as a better lyricist than GB? Come on, bro. Uh, Simon Marijuana Dreams. Jeezy, I, he made me lose my fucking train of thought. That's, and, uh, shout out to my boy DX. You watch that Cat Williams clips of him asking a Mexican fan to take his ass back to Mexico. He, if he loves it so much, damn, j Ma like that. Um, Wow. Ray GHD, what's happening with it? Nope, I won't be watching that, says Trev. Exercise says, I'm watching you at the restaurant with my torta, eating two tortas. Oh, you guys are just, it's just torta. You're torta out in the game. Jesus only, says Rick Williams. Absolutely. Better now I see your handsome face. Thank you, this and that. I appreciate you. You already got orbs everywhere, gun. I don't need that. Yeah. All I need is wake one of those motherfuckers up, and next thing you know, I'm going to look like my cousin choked out by a Mongolian. I had that mother. I was... Hitting him in the face like this. Shut up. Shut up. I'm telling my mom. I'm telling my mom. Shut up. You wanted to catch a fade? No, bro. I'm in a haircut. No, fuck you. Right? If I rip your fucking Mongolian from the roots out of your head. I'm active. I'm active. Yeah. Lazy boy better than both of them, says Aiden Blaze. Uh, now I'm looking for orbs behind you like last time. City of Mered. Jeezy, you know what it is? That's what we say. You need a super North cousin live, says Ray G. If I can convince him to do it, I will. Nicholas Hernandez says, what city is High Power Primo from? Gustine. Um, and if you know, you know, bro. It's a, it's a spec. Rick Williams says, you know my cousin Scott Williams from Winton Pass. Did he? Scotty Williams? Wow, bro. You know, hey, I don't know how old you are, Rick Williams. Let me know how old you are, and I know you know my family. Hey, if you're from Winton, you know my family. I'm a Vidari, bro. You probably know my dad. But I'm a Vidari. Nah, bro, GB is the Mexican Nas. Um, yeah, GB's hard, bro. GB's hard. Lefty has no lyrics, just pendejo clout. No, I, I mean, I like Lefty, man. I like Lefty. But um, they call me Superman. I'm a shooter, man. You know what I mean? They call me Gunner, man. I'm a shooter, man. I do this shit on a computer, man. Right? I could do that, too. If Woody had lived longer, do you think he would have broken through to the mainstream? His rap skills were impeccable. Um, I don't know if he would have went that route, but he's definitely, man, definitely. Woody, you know, Woody has a lot of influence. When I kicked it with Woody in real life, partied with Woody and all that. You know, I fucks with Woody. Um, he didn't have to go mainstream. He went mainstream to me, you know. But do I think he would have had an opportunity? Absolutely, bro. Um, and I think his skin pigmentation would have absolutely helped him as well. He would have been able to break through. Use this. Use this like Miklo did on Big Al's Fingers. Chico, you need to sign in from a laptop. iPhones don't let you become a member. Uh, Dave Gibson, uh, whoever asked about Cash App, it is super quick and easy to sign up. And Gunner gets it ASAP. It doesn't have all this cash taken like YouTube takes. Thank you, this and that. Uh, yes, sir, I'm 62. All oh, Rick Williams. Okay, so um, I don't know if you know my family, but I'm a Vidari. You know Mark Moreno and Johnny and, and Leonard and all them from Winton. Uh, you're going to catch WrestleMania this Psh. Bro, does, a, does Diddy fuck Meek Mill in a pool? Absolutely. Yes, I'm going to watch WrestleMania. You know, I'm a, uh, also, are you a, flat, a fan of the bloodline? I think The Rock's going to turn on the bloodline, um, but I do like the bloodline, bro. I'm not really into Cody Rhodes with the fucking weird-ass jacket. I love Seth Rollins, though. Seth is my shit, bro. Seth Rollins is the shit. You know, Seth Rollins giving Becky, uh, Becky Lynch long dick style. Oh, and tell me right now why I love, love Liv Morgan. Gunsmokes says Lefty just looks like a knock mouth feed jacket for beats. Hey, YouTube, take a percentage of what you earn on here. That shit. Uh, that's shit. If so, yeah, they do, bro. They do. Absolutely. GB to Mexican Nas. I have to check him out after this live. 
but it adds up. It compiles up, bro. So it does help me. Um, but they do. Um, look at my boy, Nick nine, nine for the nine, nine. I appreciate you. There she is. What's up, Natalie? I see her. Hey, still man fan. What's happening with it? Nick says that's crapple. That's crapola. The yacht life got me like this. Julian, you know what it is. Bobby Hurley town, Sacktown, Jersey city. I sent you five on cash chips says Damien. Hey, I appreciate that brother. Gracias. Um, you like walking clown show, Seth Rollins. Hey bro. That Walter right there, he's one of the best wrestlers in the WWE. His style might not be all that because he can be like a, he's like a fucking Elton John shit. But his wrestling, bro, his skills are up to par. I'm more in it for the wrestling and not the showmanship part of it. You know, I think it's going to be set that betrays Cody for some reason. But yes, a lot of people anticipate it to be the rock could happen. We shall see. Um, I'm just going to watch it just for the experience, bro. I love WrestleMania. My nephew would come over my kids. I'll cook pizza or order pizza and. And uh, just do it like that. A couple primos will come over, drink a few beers. They'll do their thing. I'll drink my Mountain Dew Zeros. We need a Mexican rapper from Cali who don't rap about gangs. Absolutely, Robert C. Now we're talking. Son, Natalie, I hope you're doing better today. Hey, Gunner, when are you going to tat? Uh, when are you going to talk about solitary confinement if you don't mind the question? Um, what do you mean, Ricardo? I've done a lot of stories on solitary confinement. Elaborate, bro. What you want me to talk about? And I got you. Rick Williams says, it's been years, bro. I was friends with Barkers and everyone back in the day. I'm a Williams. And I know your family very well, bro. I, I know the name very well and uh, well known in the Winton area. Um, And I know the Barkers <laughs> Um, used to fucking. I know. I know, bro. So, yeah, damn, bro. It's nice seeing you on here, Holmes. Woody is the shiznit, says Damon Almarez. Edward Lomali or Edgar Lomali. Spencer Holmes says, saludos, guns. I'm dopey from San Diego, Califa. Say shout out, dopes. What's happening, bro, with it? Bro, what you think about Samantha Irvin? She can get it. Hey, she can get it. She can get it. I got to go get the papers. Get the, I love Samantha Irvin, bro. I'll marry Samantha Irvin right now today. Do you see how wide her mouth opens when she she could, she could swallow your whole stomach, bro? All the way to the whole stomach. She's tight. I love her. What's up, SM? Back. The funk lover is back. Prayers for you and yours, brother. Hey, likewise, sir. Dylan Rodriguez says, did you say cook a pizza? Yeah, I'll make, hey, I make them homemade, bro. For my kids, we put all the sauce on, the pepperonis, and do all that together. Throw it in the oven. You know, I need the P.O. box. I'm going to send you a care package that you have to open on video, says Natalie. Said, oh, we. All right, Natalie. Oh, uh, what you know about homemade pizza, says Aiden Blake. I'll be doing, I'll be doing the mostest. I'll be doing the mostest. You know what I'm saying? Like a motherfucker on canteen does with hostess. Dylan, what up, fam? Lefty Gunplay is a trip. Have you ever done time in Washington? Yes, I have. Eric Rodriguez at Nat says, hey, girl, uh, you made it to the live. B is in the building. Yes, Nat, funny as fuck. Hey, I fuck around and open the box. There'll be a big old piece of cock just sitting there. She'll be like, show it to the camera. I'll be like, man, the homegirl didn't mean she, hey, she, she pranked me. Gunner, if you put down some raps, I would buy them. Would you this and that? It ain't that serious for real. Have you ever ran into my homie from Bolin? He's a Filipino, was was in and did 35 years. I, I can't say that I have, brother. He, what is he from Northside Bolin, Eastside Bolin, or uh what are what are your go-to starter movies? Oh, there's only one, bro. That well, two of them. I like Pineapple Express, but uh up in smoke and pineapple express. Um, and how high? How high is funny too. Gunner, if you put down some reps, okay. Uh B hugs, she bad, says DX. She's way bad, bro. She's way bad. Um, I like Tiffy time too. Tiffy time can get it. If her ass is chunked out just a little bit more, so I get, ooh, wait. I'd be on my Mexican OT shit trying to toss that salad gun. You know any woods from the Great Lock family, NorCal. Um, that name sounds familiar. What area? Trev, Coco County? Favorite all-time wrestler, Ric Flair. Undertaker, Ric Flair. What up, OG? Tapping in from work, smashing on the 18-wheeler. Guard! My boy AE's in the building. Sonico says, what's your favorite stoner movies? Um, I seen her watching in the shadows, told her just come kick it like Tybo. Uh, uh, wait, you have a P.O. box? I want to make you something. That's right, this and that. Um, yeah, we'll get to all that. You know, you got to hit me up on TikTok, and I can reach you out the address and everything. So you guys get at me on TikTok, and I can make it happen. No disrespect, but I personally feel Woody should have done more for his homie. Uh, who is still doing time. I wonder if he ever tried to get him a lawyer. He did. He did, Jamal. I can tell you personally, he did try to get him a lawyer. Um, he did try to do the most for him, bro. But at the end of the day, here's the way I see it. Woody's gone now so we could speak about it, right? If he truly did them crimes that his homeboy sat down 
very long for so he could have this rap career instead of allegedly taking yourself out um you know speak up and i've heard that he's wrote, wrote a letter man and it's somewhere out there floating around and hopefully one day it'll come to light so his homeboy can get out but you know coco county all the way up to the yuba city marysville okay um i've heard that name but i i can't say that i know him personally trev i would be lying to you brother mr gunn what weight is considered a torta <laughs> a little too some it's considered when she wants to do something i'd say about 200 what up uh, uh, <laughs> 190 depending on height what up gunner first time on your live living a con uh, loving the content from king's county what's up uh ricardo i see you robert c said do you go for la night on wwe he's like a knockoff a mix between the rock and uh stone cold steve i mean i fucks with la night i like his his whole get down but it's like uh you have to be a little bit more yourself for me you know i'm old school wrestling wwf back in the 80s bro so i like the fact that everyone had their own little thing i don't like biting off another motherfucker's a style r.i.p ryan wood absolutely woody wood man the chicano express i need taco bell he needs chorro bell attention on the tira the homeboy chicano express needs chorro bell <laughs> <laughs> he's about to go get him a nacho bell fucking caca hey i ain't gonna lie bro late night taco bell hits differently go get a mexican pizza them motherfuckers are fired nicole says i'll buy a cd of you rapping take that take that and <laughs> on nicole hey what's up though girl so with you stay away from the soda says adam no i fuck with zero sugar homie i talked to my doctor about him straight up my doctor gave me the green light shit homes i rushed over there like a motherfucking soldado rushing a bulldog on the yard Okay, we'll do. Um, what homemade pizza do you use? A pizza stone or cast iron? Cast iron. I use a cast iron um, pan. Um, I don't got a pizza stone, but yeah, I use a cast iron. I do it in a cast iron skillet. Those are my in-laws, says Trev. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I've heard that name before, bro. Um, I personally think if Woody uh, lived, he was going to retire because he wasn't making that much music before he died. I think his mind state, he was in a different place. You know what I'm saying, Jeezy? Um, but we'll never know. My boy Nick says Seth's funny as fuck, and he's hard. Nicholas Hernandez says, Do you like the Iron Claw movie? It could have been better. I appreciated it just because I loved, you know, uh that family man. You know, um watching them in wrestling growing up, you know, they were the shit. But they could have did much better in that movie, could have been longer, could have elaborated more on to Carrie and uh Mike. They didn't talk about Mike. You know, the Von Eric family, man, they had a lot of depths. They, they were a cursed family. Uh, Jay Stone from the Bay, man. Shout out to my big Uso. What's happening, brother? Color weight on that hat. Dope, Us. I know you got some shoes that match them. Shh, look in the back, bro. Let's do it like this. Wait up. I'll let you see. Just a few little thing things. Look at the Chicago ones sitting there posted up like thumbtacks. Well used, too. Bro, just watch the video of the Bulldogs getting smashed. I don't think necessarily they got smashed. I think they got jumped on. It's not hard when you got the numbers to jump on people, bro. I've never appreciated that fact. I guess when I was gangbanging, it was like, yeah, we got them vaultas. We smashed them. Um, but if you have the numbers, that's to be expected. You know, I believe in conducting your business and then just getting on, you know. Um, but they did get jumped on, bro, most definitely. Uh, they all in the Cali system, deep, big time, Scanty Cooks, too, back in the day. That's, that's where I think I've heard of them, Trev. Uh, I had family that was deep in that game as well. You up on game with the Piria pizzas? Um, no, but them motherfuckers sound fire. What do you think of the Roadhouse remake? Sucked. I didn't like it. Didn't care for it, bro. Sugar caffeine is the worst vice in life. No cap. You ain't lying, Jason. What's your idea on the perfect length and type of chain? A 22-inch um, Figaro or 22-inch Cuban link? You know, I got two... I don't like to fucking put on all my jewelry anymore. I just threw this one on just because Tortas like it, but I have this one as well. Let me pop this motherfucker on right here. Like I'm doing too much, huh? Let's see, I'm doing too much. Am I blinging? Am I blinging a little bit? Um, This one is 20. This one is 22, bro. Uh, Muhammad's from the East Side, uh, Bolin, and paroled five years ago. Tia Stories. Hey, don't trip, bro. I got something coming up tomorrow. She's going to be involved in it. That one guy, Mike, says, you got any ghost stories? Oh, man. Um, I got a couple in the chamber. Gunner, have you tried Pepsi or Coke Zero? Not bad. I don't like the darker sodas, bro. I go for this, and they even have Baja Blast Zero. You know, I'm going to go get that tomorrow when I go buy the ingredients for the um, Chile Verde. So hit a one if you guys um, want to do that. 
Um, you remember you called WAC 100 with Dubs live? I did. Yeah, I still got his number in my phone. I just don't fuck with him no more after he talked shit. He tried to put some bullshit on me, man. I don't, I don't fuck with that. Um, but yeah, I got WAC 100's number. I got several of those guys' numbers, man, um, in the industry. But it's it's not a big issue, bro. They're just regular dudes. Get a pound of ground beef and cook it in a uh, taco sauce and lettuce, tomato, cheese. Oh, wait, that just sounds bomb. Um, so trip out. Hit a one if you guys want me to do that live tomorrow. The chile verde. I mean, I'm going to do it anyways for B, but I just kind of want to gauge where you guys are at. Now, I'm going to try to talk to you guys the most, but I'm going to be busy doing my thing. Um, I'm probably going to go on my phone or take my laptop into the kitchen and do it there. Um, now you guys got me fucking. I have to call a torta to come over to clean my kitchen. Bang, bang. Super Norteño is in the next, is the next script map. Bring him out. Oh, bro. Now, hey, let me tell you. As I so saw, I'm telling you, there's crazy stories on him and he's like that. But when he's around other people, like, he intimidates them, bro. He's the type you don't want to disrespect, bro, because he'll fuck around and kill you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to say he's done anything, period. I never will to the dying day. But let's just say he's not the individual that is going to let anyone just play him out of pocket. You know what I mean? He's not a, he's not an act, bro. CV3 Compton's tapping in. My boy Alfonso Rodriguez, Julian uh, Guevara says, just got my son a WWE steel cage toy with Paul Logan, with Logan Paul figure. That's right, bro. Um, this and that says, if I was in Cali, I would come clean. Wink, wink. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm not in Cali. I'm in Washington. So if you're anywhere near me, you can call on Tyrone. Come through and we can clean it out. For reals, I'll hit it out. And this is without a doubt. The gun low, the gun smoke. Call it what you want. Uh, not giving a fuck. I see that girl on the corner. I'm not going to fly. I'm going to hit it. Never quit it. For real. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Oh, that. Oh, that is right. Uh, so this and that. Fire. Do you think it's a video funnier than your last one? If so, what's the video called? Oh, forever. I got several videos funnier than that last one. Um, if you go on to Gunners Collective TV and look at some of my older videos, I um, mean, go just go into the uh, the uh, bedtime stories. Uh, love and respect, Gun Gun. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much, B. I got you. Oh, I'm in Washington. Yeah, oh, shit, girl. I wish you can come to Washington right now at this point. You know, I'm trying to see. What, I'm trying to see what that be like. Uh, lots of funny shit, says Natalie Smith. When do you get the other channel back? In May. In May. And I'm ready to get, get it rocking. May 12th, Aiden. And what do you guys think, man? Are you guys going to be tuning into both channels? Because I'm coming motherfucking hard in the paint. Hard in the paint on both channels. We're going to get them both popping. You know, the other channel has 121,000 subscribers. So that's going to speak for itself and do what it does. I don't even got to do much on that channel. It gets crazy numbers. It does crazy shit. But over here is my baby, man. I've been building this one up. I'm trying to get to 50K over here. So, man, um, tell everybody about me, you know, because I after tomorrow, if you don't like me now, you're going to like me after tomorrow. I'm dropping heat tomorrow. Double up. Fuck with it. Coming like Diddy. No, no, no. <laughs> Is there Puerto Rican hood? <coughs> fuck around Diddy. Fuck around. Take motherfuckers breath away. How did your primo react to American me when he said some farmers up north? Oh, we, we can't watch that shit out of his pad, bro. A1A hey, hey, Southside. He be tripping out, eh? Look at these vatos. They think they're better than us, eh? They think they're better than us. I'm like, bro, he's boning them over a bag of rice. Exactly, eh? That's what that's all. That's what the Southsiders, that's what they want to do. To us. They want to fuck us. They don't want to fuck. I'm like, no, calm down, bro. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Fucking every time my mom makes rice, bro, I have a fucking flashback of puppet's chin when he's going. <laughs> right? It feels crazy. 24 hour live man though. When you get to 50k, let's do it, Aiden. Um, what happened with the other channel? I watched videos on it, but I haven't heard the get down on why it was taken away for a moment. It says trust, but verify. Um, they got me for reusing content. I put a short up there. Someone reported my short. Um, I guess I didn't switch it up like I should have. You got to sometimes you use little videos, little video clippings for your shorts. You have to switch them up to a certain standard. If you don't, um, you know, they hit you. They hit me one in the morning, one night, woke up, email. Your channel has been demonetized. I could still drop videos over there and everything, um, but I'm not in. I'm not in it unless I'm in it to win it, right? So I figured that gave me the perfect opportunity. I didn't fight it. wasn't going to try to go that route. Didn't want the, the strikes and all that. So what I did was I just let it do its thing till May. Then I'll reapply. Be back in the mix. Still have my 121,000 subs. And then over here, I just put the pedal to the metal. We're doing. We're doing great. What's happening? 177 Richie. I got that earlier, bro. You're in. A1A one eight Southside says you're about to get a phone call from him and your Thea. Oh, they called me yesterday. My Thea was like, "Make call. Am I gonna become famous?" She's probably rubbing her nipple. And I'm gonna become famous like a star and shit. Hey, 
if they're over 30, I like to get dirty. I'm like, no, 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 tia. Her son's like, you're fucking mom. You're just too much. You're too much. There's a fucking ice right there. He doesn't understand English. He doesn't understand English. I know. He's just here to pay our rent anyways. Still paying rent in a house they've lived in for 40 years. It's content. 818 Southside. Let him know, bro. Fire idea 24 hour live at 50K. Let's get it all day, man. Randomly ended up in the vortex of other dudes' videos. Why they hate so much. Bad mouthing you. Uh, give her rocks. It's all good, bro. Because look at me. Because look at me, bro. Um, I'm doing what I inspire to do, and I'm having a good time doing it. We got 199 in the building, 271 likes. Can we get up to 300? Um, and I don't know why, bro. Grown men would want to talk about other grown men. It just doesn't seem right. Some about it, it seems rather diddyish. You know, men thinking about other men constantly is diddyish. It's in our blood to be a tribal like the natives. That's right, man. We are natives. We all come from native blood, Robert. Gun, if you went S and Y the next time, go GP. Will he get his face split? Oh, and his charges are good still. So synergy. Gun, if you went S and Y next time, go GP. Will he get his face split? Oh, uh, you talking about my primo? He never went to an S and Y yard, bro. He was placed on a 50-50, or not a 50-50 yard, but it was it was a no good yard. There's a lot of when I say no good yard, meaning it might be good for everyone else, but the Norteños have deemed it no good for them to function on that yard, right? And it could be it's a solid yard. Everybody's solid, bro. But it could be so much as North Angeles don't function there or we don't have a program there or whatever. Um, it's not good within our own collective. Right. So you have 72 hours to get the fuck off the yard, take flight or whatever and get off that yard. Um, it took him four days. That's why my cousin was in the, you know, but he was never on S and Y. He was never in none of that. Tell your tia, I said, what's good? Says the sack daddy 916. Hey, bro. My tia's cold, too. I've been there where she's watching. She's like she reminds me of the mom from Friday. Remember? When she gave when she gave the two dollars to Smokey, she said, "Make it work." And she was looking at Craig's whole shit. Remember, that's 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 my tia right there. Same thing, just the Mexican version. The type that licks her finger and rubs around her nipple like this. Damn, I'll be like, damn, fucking nipples that big. I don't. I hate to think about it. They said Diddy uh, has Wes Wes Watson and Stevie J in the chokehold. Um, those super North Indian stories are funny. At Bajatangas, gun smokes. Do you remember? Uh, and I've never seen the old bootleg DVD called Bum Fights with Rufus the Bum. I remember Bum Fights, bro. Diddy going down for a freak okay. Shout out to all the Tortas. Gunner, I've watched your no clowning on the yard clip daily. I've seen it like 50 times. It's brilliant. I am a J-Cat. Dave Gibson respects. I am a J-Cat. <laughs> that fucking one's crazy, huh? Fuck, I haven't heard Double Up since I was in prison. Double Up. Uh, the Sack Daddy 916 was good. Uh, you should do whatever it takes to get your primo on as a guest. I'm trying, Jay. I'm sure he will. He'll break it down like a motherfucking Fortis shotgun. Uh, Mallard the Duck says one was lay. I'd rather look away. Where do they have the video where the Bulldogs are rushed on the yard? Go to the War Nerd 818 Southside. It's called the War Nerd channel. Uh, you could also get there through uh, the um, the XCO or whatever. His name's, his name's Hector, man. He's, just look under the War Nerd, bro. That's his new channel. Wario Chihuahua 13. What's up, Holmes? Vic Chavez is territorial. Uh, Esse, did you see Crip Mac did a song with the North End rapper Doc Nine and also a song with the North End rapper Lazy Lokes? Bitch, excuse me, almost threw up. <laughs> Dunt, did you get the twenty dollars I sent? <laughs> Pinchy Jose, <coughs> I don't know, I haven't looked at my phone, bro. Did you send it on Cash App? Because if you did, I probably got it, Carnal. We are closing in on 300. Let's get to 300. Fuck with your boy right now. If you haven't tapped the like. Let's go to 300 right now. Let's see how long it takes. 10, 9, 8. So I don't even know what the fuck I'm wasting my breath. The shit hasn't went up one yet. <laughs> I heard Wes Watson has a trap stamp. Did he did it? Ooh, or did he not? One never knows does one. He has one. It's called, it's called, it goes, hey, he has that song all the way across his back. Dun, da, dun, 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 da, 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 da. They're like, now what does that mean? He says, push it. P -p -p push it baby <laughs> what's cracking local you still doing your thing graphic one absolutely brother how you doing sir it's been a minute bro what you been up to Vic chavez says what's up with edgar vatos how can we not laugh uh or lax I, I mean i do every day bro you know i sit here and tell people in one in one breath don't talk shit about people and then i talk shit about edgar's i don't know bro it's the life we live right tap that like as if it's going to get you off Ooh, natalie take that take that natalie uh, this and that I already liked the minute I stepped in. Shit, I like the fact that you liked it the minute you stepped in. My boy JC has entered the building. What's up, brother? Forever said they said Diddy had West. Uh, 
They said West put Stevie J. He had West put Stevie J in the full Nelson and telling Diddy, get that. Take that. Hey, thank you, Natalie. Pump 503. So what's up, bro? Adam says, where's my PS5 gun? Oh, one never knows does one, Adam. One never knows does one. Um, We're going to do the drawing next week, bro. So we'll see. Hopefully, good luck to the people that win. We still have tickets, man. We still get it. So uh, don't sleep on it. Someone's going to win a PS5. Um, I'll post a picture that they send me, man. That's all I ask is that you take a picture with it so you could show or even a video clipping um, that I could drop as a short. Whatever the case may be, man, um, I would appreciate that uh, for the haters, you know. We just hit it, says Dave Gibson. B says 307. When I started this, puppy. Oh, there she is. What's up, Michelle? I was waiting on you, girl. I was like, what? No Michelle tonight? Sounds good. And the winner isn't. But now that she jumped in, what's happening? Now I see Michelle. She's a big old Cowboys fan. Oh, wait. She make a motherfucker want to go out and buy a Cowboy jersey right now. Thank you, everyone, says Natalie. Tacos are great. I just smashed that. I like the Chicano Express. Let's take that. Take that. Dave Gibson, 310 likes. Yes, spread of life. Get in the ring with Buzz Gun. He'll mop you up, says Bread of Life. Uh, how? Because you said so? Because you said so, Bread of Life. Somebody's going to mop me up, huh? Is that your way of trying to inspire me to go fight someone who I consider a friend or what? How about this, Bread? Maybe I'll mop you up. Have you ever thought about that? Or maybe I won't. Um, But thank you, bro, for that. Thank you. And we'll see you later for talking your little shit. I ain't playing. She's hot. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Michelle is different level. Uh, can you raffle an eight ball? More de Watson. Shit, if I had it, you would have it. Uh, Ricardo says, I would rather die than wear a pinchy fucking cowboy jersey. Puro San Francisco 49ers. I bet you he's a 49er fan because Sosa says, Hey, because Sosa says so. Hey, Lucky, you know me better than I know me, bro. I should have came with that line, huh? You know how I do it. I would have said, you said that because Sosa says so? I said, mine's brother, have you been to any casinos lately? Nah, Tony Ayo. I don't got money like that, bro. You know, what I did do, do is go take my daughter and bought her some new Air Force Ones. She was happy as fuck. Um, Chirujo's everywhere. Yeah, I just got rid of one. Big Chavez at Chicano Express. His people in Merced used to bump Puffy and Bad Boy harder than 90. <laughs> fuck, Chicano Express, don't, don't do us like that, bro. <coughs> you almost made me choke. But real talk, bro. The more money we came across, the more tortas we see. Yeah, we were on that shit. Cheeto who's everywhere, says Vic. Uh, get in the ring with me, gun, Natalie Smith. I'm telling you right now, I don't know if you're ready for that, Natalie. I'll fuck around and have you. You be tapping out like, what the fuck? Trust but verify. So where's the link for tickets for the PS5 TikTok or Instagram? There is no link, man. It's a $20 ticket or $25 ticket or $20 ticket if you're a member. Um... It's not on TikTok or Instagram, though. Uh, you just do it through Cash App. I write your name down. You're going to be part of the raffle. And that's the way we do it, man. Um, haha, Rams all day, bro. We them boys is Dylan. Uh, he's a pig that don't fly straight. My brother's a Niners fan. No hate. All about the game. Lucky says, when I first heard you say that, I instantly remembered a scene. And it was like, oh, shit. That's a good line to use. Yeah. Hey, yeah, because I, I, I forgot when I first said that. Hey, Bruce of Queens in the building. Julian is as well. WTP Niners is this. Scoop on me. Raider Nation says beautiful queen. Bre best breakfast, meat, bacon, sausage, or ham. Bacon. So trip out. When I forgot what spill was when I first said that. Someone said something. They were like, you're a piece of shit. I said, oh, because sauce says <laughs> Ah, Gunner smacking haters down like Tony Montana. Hey, man. Tell them the bad guy sent them. This is the last time you're going to see a bad guy like this. Tell them to go practice falling down. I'll be there in a minute. Joe Dirt. Raiders. 49ers are turning into the Raiders. Next year is our year, says Aiden Blaze. Jay Charles says, who do you think is the all-time best Mexicano rapper? Great question, bro. Great question. You guys want me to tell you the truth? The best Mexican rapper? There's two of them. One from up north and one from down south. And I'm not just saying that to fucking game bang here, right? Up north, it was Pollo Loco, who actually lived with me when he passed, man. Michael Hernandez, my homeboy Pollo Loco from Darkroom Familia, Lowdown. He was bad, bro. Look into him. Um, as far as down south, it was uh, what's his name, bro? Fuck, man. I know it right off the top of my head, bro. Um, was it Pitbull? Not Pitbull. What's that fucking dude's name, bro? I forget his name right off the top, bro. I, I, I could see him right now, but I forget his name. He died. He died. He was a rapper from down south, southern California, bad as fuck. 
He's going to say Conejo. No, Conejo's my favorite Southern rapper, but I'm saying the best ever to do it. Um, is it the name Pollo Loco copyrighted? Um, his name's Pollo Loco with a K. This is Raider. Hit that like button and subscribe team. Right, Carter, this is Little Rob. No, it's not Little Rob. It's someone else. Tupac, this is Joanne Starberg. Are you a San Francisco Giants fan, Gun? Because this is Puro Doyers all day. I'm a Giants. I say, yeah. Right? What's up, Anthony? Brian Salerno says, you're going to say Night Owl. No, it wasn't Night Owl, eh? You know, I talked to Night Owl two days before he passed. True story, man. Um, we were we we're kind of beefing, lightweight, tick, uh, not TikTok, but YouTube beefing. Um, and, and it was all good. No, his, he died, too. It's not Night Owl. It's someone else. Slow Pain. <laughs> graphic One hit it. My boy Graphic, he knows what everything. Slow Pain. That motherfucker Slow Pain was the shit, bro. I fucks with Slow Pain. Semi-scratch. Not Mr. Shadow, no, but Slow Pain. Baby Bash wants, wants in on that lista. Yeah, well, he's going to, you know, with that perm, he's he's on a different lista. No diddy. No, I'm just saying, shout out to Baby Beach, man. Um, but I don't know about him kicking with the fucking, uh, the SPM Chirujo or let's go. My boy Graphic One hit that. Yeah, it's uh, Slow Pain. Slow Pain is the rapper. Anyways, you know what? I'm going to get up out of here, man. We did our goal. We hit 322. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. If you haven't watched the videos I dropped today, watch both of them. Two bangers. Tomorrow, we got a double banger. Um, hit a one right now if you want me to hit you guys with part three or should we wait? Um, we will be going live making Chile Verde tomorrow. Tap in for that. I appreciate that. Um, thank you guys so much. Good night. You guys have a great one. I'm going to kick on back. My back's hurting. Let me take this bullshit off. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that serious. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do what I do. Hey, I'll see you. Uh, soldier for breakfast. What's happening? Hey, what's up, Pedro Chato? Shout out to the Bulldogs, man. Fresno Bulldogs. When it's, hey, when I noches, that's right, Robert. I remember you doing a video on him. Slow pain does slap hard. Oh, absolutely, man. Um, wait till tomorrow, says Beautiful Queen. Have a good night, bro. I think we can get to 500 likes. My boy's trying to keep me on here, huh? Now, let's go watch the Dodgers whip on the Giants. Oh, really? No, no. We'll watch the Giants whip on the Dodgers. You ready? Let's go. You're going to need a massage. I do, Michelle. You got me? Let me know, baby. I'll go to, you know, I'll go. I shit. It ain't. <laughs> I jump in the shit and just get to going. I'll just fly. Whatever we need to do to make it happen. Los Angeles active. Orale. All right. I appreciate you guys so much. Go watch the videos. And if you guys want me to drop the banger tomorrow, it's coming. Oh, man. You guys haven't heard shit yet. Hey, his stories get better and better and better. Sam Romero, Michelle Gutierrez, Gunsmoke, Natalie Smith, B, Mallard the Duck, Fran and Bear, this and that, Raider. All the homies, Adam and CCU, I see you, JC and Dave Gibson. I appreciate you guys. Mad dog, orale. I'm out.